underscore Sally. You are awesome. Thank you for the six month resub.
Yay, hello! Hello, hello! 
Hello, hello, hello. We're gonna have a uh, we're gonna have a chill stream tonight, chat. Maybe a slightly shorter stream as well. We'll see how things go. Uh, but I'm slightly tired. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit tired. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe it's just maybe it's just the weather. Maybe it's just me being tired. I don't know. But you know what? I think that 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 calls for. That's a good reason to just ha just have a nice chill stream with all of you together. Nothing too special. Nothing too wild. Nothing too crazy. Just us hanging out, vibing, chilling. Sally eating some tacos. How about that, chat? How about that? But before we go anywhere, though, let's uh, let's go and let's say the following, which is good evening, everyone. Good evening and good time to all of you. How is everyone doing today? My name is Mr. Drillicious. As always, welcome to the stream on this Wednesday, December uh, 7th, 2022. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Sally, uh, thanks again for the resub for six months. I can appreciate that. Uh, I said it earlier in chat, but I wanted to say it uh, as well now as well live to you. Thank you so much. I can appreciate that. Uh, and enjoy your tacos. Enjoy your, 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 well, I'm assuming your dinner or your food at least. Yeah, so how is everyone doing today, chat? Like I said, I'm slightly tired. Uh, like nothing major. Like I'm not necessarily tired as in I want to go to bed and I want to take, you know, I want to get some sleep. I'm more tired as in I wasn't sure if I was feeling up to sort of like, you know, be on if you meet, if you get what I'm like, you know, as a streamer, you know, you're always sort of like, you know, you, you are always on because, you know, you need to engage your audience and you're playing the game and you're like chatting and you're doing all these kind of things. Uh, so I was kind of tired to just be like on tonight, if that makes sense. But also because we don't stream on uh, on Friday, coming Friday, we don't stream. I was like, yeah, I don't want to cancel the stream tonight as well, because then, you know, we've only streamed on Monday this week and I wasn't like, I didn't want to do that either. Um, so I'm guessing we're just going to have a nice chill stream and maybe I'll just stop slightly, slightly earlier. Um, like maybe at like, you know, 1130-ish, 12-ish, something like that. Uh, it kind of depends on how it goes. Like if I get some more energy, uh, you know, later during the stream, then then great. And we'll just keep it going. Uh, but if not, we might we might end it uh, a little bit sooner than than, than usual. Um, but I, I guess that is also totally fine. I think that is something that we should be able to do, right? So yeah, do you get tacos with a sub? That would be nice. That would be a cool sort of, uh, imagine if Twitch did like a, um, I, I know that a couple of years ago they did a September, which is always like their, their subscriber discount thingy that they do in September. Uh, I, I believe they did like September powered by Subway. Um, but I don't think there were any specific Subway perks that you would get. Like, you know, if you would subscribe to a channel, you would get like, you know, 10% off your next Subway order. I don't think they did anything like that, but that would have been, that would have made more sense, I guess, if you, if, you know, if they have a partnership with Subway, that you would get like a discount or like, you know, benefits uh, from Subway, I guess. Uh, but I don't think they did that. Free sub with a sub. Exactly, yeah. Like, like that would be kind of cool, right? Like, getting a free sub when you subscribe to someone on Twitch. I mean, maybe that would be a bit too much because, you know, some people subscribe to many streamers all at once, but I think that could be, like, a fun little incentive. But, yeah, I don't think they did that. I, I guess the marketing team at Twitch wasn't, like, wasn't, you know, too sure about something like that. Maybe in the US. I don't know. Uh, maybe in the US they did something like that, but I don't think so. I don't think they did. I never heard anyone talk about something like that. So, excuse me. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, so yeah, we got a, we got a new energy drink tonight. I'm not drinking my sneak because we were in the store the other day and kind of funny story. We were in, we were in a store, uh, but Peter was looking if they had, you know, like something, uh, that he wanted to get and they didn't have it. So we didn't end up buying something, but we didn't want to stand like in line at like the cash register and be like, yeah, we don't have anything. We just need to walk out because you know, we didn't have anything. So Peter was like, you know what? Just get something very cheap, like, you know, like a drink or like some candy. Uh, and then we use the self checkout counter thingy, uh, and then we just, just go that way. So instead of candy, I got myself a Rockstar energy drink. It's called Rockstar Refresh uh, energy drink, and it's the flavor Mango Guava, um, which I think in in Spanish, I guess that is, is Sugus de Fruct Guava si Mango, or something like that. I think that's Spanish. I don't know if anyone knows Spanish, but I think that is uh, that is um, Spanish. Um, so um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a taste of that. I haven't opened it yet, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that live on stream, so you'll get some opening ASMR. Hopefully, it's not gonna you know fizz on me like the last time we opened something. Oh crap! I hope I can open it. Wait, hang on. There we go. Okay, well that didn't fizz. 
Okay, it smells very mango-y, which I guess I like. I like the flavor of mango, so it smells very mango-y, so... Let's have a- let's have a taste. Let's have a taste. I like it. I like it. It, it does taste very mango-y as well. Um, I'm sure there's also guava in there, because it is mango guava. I wouldn't necessarily say that the flavor of guava is very, like, overpowering. Then again, I'm not necessarily sure what a guava tastes like. Just saying. Um, but I do like it. It tastes good. I, I, the, the Rockstar Refresh mango guava flavor has been approved. I like it. It, it tastes good. So, um, yeah, that's what we're drinking, the first part of the stream. Rockstar, I haven't seen that in a few years. I, I mean, normally when I get, like, I, I mean, I don't really get energy drinks like this too often. But normally when I do, um, I'm usually getting, like, you know, like a monster energy because that's, you know, like, what's on sale and that's something that I know. Or apparently, like, this bang energy that apparently is, like, a big deal that I never knew about. Uh, and they also had that at the store that we were at, but they only had two flavors and the two flavors that I already had, the uh, Frosé Rosé and the... Um, um, what, what was the other one? Unicorn Sparkle? Sp uh, sparkling Unicorn? Something Unicorn, I don't know, Rainbow Unicorn, something like that. Uh, they only had two, those two flavors and I already had those, so I was like, okay, I want to try out something new, like a new flavor that I never had before. So that's why we went with the Rockstar um, Mango uh, mango Guava. Slightly melony, think honey melon kind of. Wait, that's what a guava tastes like? Rockstar making energy drinks now instead of GTA 6. I know, right? I know. Yeah, it's so rude. Also, they have like the same sort of logo. Look, they have like a star. Well, it's not. No, it's actually not the same logo. It's just a star with the double R in it. It's it's actually completely not the same logo as Rockstar because Rockstar has like a square with an R and then a little star at the bottom. So it's it's absolutely not the same thing. <laughs> um. So yeah. Anyway, chat. Hopefully you guys are doing good tonight. Hopefully everyone is doing okay. Again, apologies if I'm slightly. Uh, less energetic than I usually am. Um, and also, for those of you who noticed, my hair is pink again, or it's more brightly pink again, because we, we cut it and we dyed it again today. Because uh, my day today was kind of low-key, I mean, I don't want to say very busy, but it was low-key kind of busy. Uh, this morning, we had to go with Churro, our doggo. We had to go take him to the uh, to the barber shop, I guess, or like to, to the salon, because it was his uh, his uh, half yearly appointment to uh, getting his fur cut again, because it was it was definitely necessary, because he was a big giant floof ball, uh, so it was necessary for him to be uh, cut down again. And now he looks amazing, and he looks very cute, and like he always looks cute, but now he looks even more cute. And he's super soft. His fur is like amazingly soft. And he smells great. I always love it when he's just coming back from like the salon because he always smells good and his fur looks good and uh, all those things. Um, so so yeah, he, he we did that. But it you know that that basically spent us the entire first part of the afternoon because we went we brought him there. Well, we first had to take him for a walk. Then we brought him there. Then we had to we just went to like a nearby shopping mall to just you know do some shopping. Well, we didn't actually buy anything, but you know we just had to spend the time because. But basically, if we would have driven back, driven back home, then, you know, by the time we would have got home and got out of the car and, you know, got our coats off and our shoes off, we would probably go back again to pick him up. So we're like, yeah, we're not going to go all the way back home, just drive back in like, you know, 15 or 30 minutes. Um, so we just stayed nearby, like, you know, a, sh a, 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 a shop. Um, it was a it was a garden center. So they had like, you know, a Christmas decoration thing, like all, all Christmassy stuff. Uh, so we basically just looked at that and, and walked around for a little bit. We had a, a quick drink as well um, to, to kind of kill the time. And then we just, it was time to pick him up again. So, um, yeah, but but that was spent as like, you know, the entire first part of the afternoon. Uh, and then once we came home, we actually did like, you know, my hair and I did Peter's hair as well because he also needed to uh, uh, get a haircut as well. So, so we did that. Uh, then we had to bleach it and dye it again. So like, you know, that basically took like all all afternoon then it was time to get dinner to make dinner luckily we had leftovers from monday so we didn't take that long to actually make them so that was nice um and uh now we are here now we're here and then i noticed like i said then i noticed that i was feeling kind of like you know not really as energetic um so um yeah we'll see we'll see how the stream goes but yeah that's basically my entire what day is it what my entire wednesday my entire wednesday and then yesterday uh, I didn't really do anything too special either. Um, I did have a nice evening though yesterday. Oh, well, I did do one sort of low-key special thing. 
Uh, I finally tried out my new wetsuit that I got in. Uh, it fits me. It, I feel great wearing it. I wore it for a couple of hours yesterday evening. Then I had to use the bathroom, so I had to take it off, unfortunately, because there's no zipper down there. So, you know, that's I, I couldn't do my business otherwise. Um, but yeah, that was that was also fun. And I had like some good chats with some some friends of mine who uh, I haven't talked to in a well, one of them I, I haven't really talked to in like a long time. So I had a nice chat with them, like just like, you know, like a text chat. Uh, and then the other one, you know, we just had a very nice conversation. I also had some puppy time yesterday, so I put on my pup hood. Um, that was actually the other friend. He was like, hey, why don't we just both put on our pup hoods and we'll just... Because we were talking about how both of us don't really wear our pup hoods lately that much as like, you know, like we wanted to. Or as, as much as we should do or like maybe we would love to do. Um, so I, you know, he said that like, yeah, I don't wear it as often as I would like. And I was like, yeah, I kind of have the same thing. Uh, so then he said, like, why don't we just put it on, like, you know, both of us, you know, right now to do it like together. So I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? So so I did that and he did that as well. And uh, yeah, that was fun. So we just kind of chatted a little bit back and forth while I was watching some uh, some TV. So it was a nice, very chill uh, evening. I was just watching TV, mostly in gear and and, and chatting. Um, so so, yeah, I did take a photo of me in my suit. So if you guys want to see that, I guess I can show that because I don't think it's really like TOS inappropriate. So if you guys want to see that, then raise your hands in chat and I, I can show that to you. Um, but yeah, that was basically my my Tuesday as well. So like I said, not really two very like, you know, special days or anything like that. Um, but, you know, two two kind of nice chill, chill days. And then like today was slightly more busy. Um, because uh, we had to take the doggo to the salon and we had to do those kind of things. If you're less energetic today, we blame Rockstar. Yes, yes. So if, if this stuff is not making me energetic, then, then send them a letter to, um, I don't know, Rockstar Energy at, I don't know, rockstarenergy.com or, or something. I don't know. Or send them a letter and be like, hey, listen, you are favorite streamer, Mr. Delicious. He drank your Rockstar Refresh energy drink and it didn't work. So like... I don't know what's going on, but it didn't work. So let them know. Uh, Miles, we're coming in. Hello, hello. Yes. Okay. Okay. We got a yes and we got a hands up. Okay. Let me quickly pull up the photo. I mean, let me double check, but I don't. Yeah, no, it's it's not Twitch inappropriate. You can't see like anything. Uh, I mean, some people have seen this already. I posted it on Instagram today as well, uh, but I was very happy with. Um, let me let me just preface this by saying, and I don't want I'm not fishing for compliments at all in any way. Uh, but let me preface this by saying is that usually I don't really feel super sexy when I'm wearing like my gear. Um, I don't really always feel very sexy in general. Like sometimes I do, but it's not very often that I'm like looking at myself in the mirror or like at photos and I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I feel sexy. Uh, but after seeing this photo that Peter took of me, I was like, you know what? I kind of feel kind of sexy wearing this suit. Uh, so that was sort of like a revelation to me, if you will. Uh, but also a, a, a very like a, a happy moment. I was like, yeah, I'm happy that I feel good um wearing this so yeah wonder if and how rockstar re responds when i send them that email <laughs> i think they would I, I i think they would either give you like a very standard like response like dear bleeb 84 we are very sorry that your experience with rockstar refresh energy was not the way that you wanted it to we always strive to give to deliver the best product that we can to you Please take our sincerest apologies and we hope we will do better next time. With love, Rockstar Energy. You know, either something like that or you won't get a response at all or they'll be like, well, I, I, we don't know what to say about this. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, speaking of compliments, your, your, your hair looks amazing. Oh, thank you. I oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I feel it's maybe slightly too short. Like, I can't really look, sort of like, you know spike it up um because i also took a shower after i dyed it and everything to get like you know the hair dye out um but you know it's kind of nice downside though uh downside uh is that um because it's not nice and short and the weather is very cold i'm gonna have to wear like you know my beanie basically all the time outside because i don't like cold like you know my i, I don't like it when my head gets cold so that's like a downside anyway here's the uh, here's the photo chat uh here's the photo of me wearing my brand new wetsuit. I, like I said, I, I think it looks good on me. I, I'm not too, I'm not too unhappy. It, it fits well. Um, so, so, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what else to say. You guys wanted to see it, so I'm showing it off to you. That's, that's why we didn't, but yeah, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> also, I was kind of hesitant about it being red, 
But I think the red actually does match with my pup hood, you know, it being pink, of course. I don't I do think it matches quite okay. Um so um so 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 yeah. Yeah, there, there you have it. If you want to see more, I just posted it on my Instagram, my puppy Instagram. So if you follow that, you will see it over there as well. Um, so yeah. I love it when you find that outfit that is just making you look 100. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, like I said, I don't always feel, you know, super sexy in like, you know, my gear or like in general, like at all. Um... But, um, you know, in this particular suit, like in this outfit, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, um, I was pretty like, you know, self-confident and I'm very happy. Like everything sort of compresses inwards as well, of course. So that's maybe like a thing as well. Um, but I didn't necessarily mind that. <laughs> we'll send Mr. Drillishes a few boxes of Rockstar Energy to keep him awake next time. I mean, I wouldn't mind that if they want to sponsor the stream. I wouldn't necessarily mind that. I'm sure they have a lot of amazing flavors. So, you know. I mean, it does contain calories, so that's a bit of a downside. Um, I think this entire can contains uh, 20 calories, so it's not that much. So yeah. Hot, pretty, it looks great on you. Not sexy, he says, you look super hot in it. Oh, thank you guys. I really appreciate that. I, 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 f I felt it as well, I really felt it as well. And it matches your hood too, so cute, right? Yeah. Well, there you go. So I am probably gonna wear this as, as much as I'm still sort of very, um, um, nervous about that, but I might wear this on stream for the special Kingsta King Kinkmas stream that we do, uh, that we most most likely will do on uh, December 23rd, the Friday before Christmas. I might wear it then. Uh, I'm not sure if I can wear the entire stream though, because like I said yesterday, I also had to take it off because I had to use the bathroom and there's no zippers down there. And once you take it off, you can't put it back on anymore because, you know, you, it's kind of, you know, you're getting warm and you're getting sweaty and, you know, it's not really easy. So I might wear it for like, you know, a portion of the stream and then I have to take it off and I need to wear something else, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I might wear that on, on that particular stream uh, and we'll play some Subnautica, so it's sort of like in theme as well. Um, so yeah, as, as nervous as I am about doing that though, because like I said before, I always sort of, uh, I was actually talking to that friend about that yesterday as well, that I'm still sort of very nervous sometimes when it comes to like opening up about things and like opening up about things that I like and, um, like, you know, sometimes even about wearing like my pep hood on stream or wearing like gear on stream or something like that. I'm still sort of nervous about that, even though, um, maybe like from the outside, it looks like I'm like super confident and I'm like, you know, everything is cool and... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sort of like showing that all to you guys, but, um, uh, yeah, on the inside, I'm still sort of, uh, sometimes a little bit nervous and, and insecure about these things. So, um, yeah. Now, you know, I guess, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know where, where I was going with that sentence. Also, Peter, hello. Hello, sweetie. Monster White contains 13 calories, so it's not that bad. Yeah, so this contains 20, so again, it's really not that bad. Um, so yeah. You don't have to go to the bathroom with a suit like that. I mean, well, you definitely do. Um, I mean, yeah, unfortunately you do. It's it, it doesn't change your sort of your body composition. <laughs> it doesn't change the way your body works. It's like, oh, hang on. We we sense you're wearing a particular suit. Now we we, we will just hold everything. You know, we'll just magically make everything disappear. <laughs> Make a hole? I'm not gonna make a hole in like an expensive suit like that. I might, maybe in the future, I might see if I can put like, you know, if or if I can have someone put down like a zipper down there so that, you know, I would be able to use the bathroom in it um, as well. But that is like a, a very big like might. Not sure if I wanna do that. Um, plus that's also not gonna be cheap, I guess. So I'm not gonna just instantly do that. So for now, uh, we'll just have to make, make do with, um, um, you know, having to uh, take it off if I have to use the bathroom, if nature calls. <laughs> but I'm not going to make a hole in it. No, that's, that's, no, no. <laughs> um, not put a zipper in it. Why not? I mean, I, I know that it's not going to be, uh, you know, as, as functional if I would ever want to use it as like, you know, for swimming in. Um, but I know, I know some people that have done something like that, and I guess it could totally work. Um, but I, like I said, I'm not going to do that anytime soon anyway, if at all. Um, but you know, if, if I really want to, I guess that could be like an alternative. Makes the suit less strong. Yeah, well, yeah, that's of course a thing. Yeah, that's, that's of course a, a, a thing. But I guess the location of it, 
it would be okay -ish. like i said i've seen multiple people who have done something like that um both on well I, I haven't seen them in real life but like i've seen it on like social media so um i guess it really depends on like how they do it i, I think just make a tube from your private area to your hand so you can empty without issues wait why to my hand though wait why to my hand <laughs> Why not like down my leg and then I just hold up my foot above the bathroom or something? Like, wouldn't that be easier? Why? Why to my hand? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Because then it has to flow upwards and we don't want that either. You know, we want it to go downwards. <laughs> it's one of the five holes your suit has. Yeah, but I, I think down my leg would still be easier. I mean, kind of weird, but, you know, easier. <laughs> Wow, why are we talking about this? Heck, I it's always so funny when we have these uh, crazy discussions that, you know, randomly uh, um, happen <laughs> like that. <laughs> like new people might be coming in. They're like, what the hell are they talking about? <laughs> so, yeah, I wasn't necessarily completely 100% sure what I wanted to do today on stream as well. I think we might check out the new... Um, um, the new season of Fortnite, maybe. Um, because that's also kind of like a relatively chill game that we could play. Um, that would be good, sort of like, you know, seeing as I'm kind of tired as well, that would be good to play that. Um, so yeah. It's hard peeing, then you need to put your leg up while peeing like a puppy. Exactly, yeah, so, so that could work, I guess. I mean, it might be easier than having it in my hand. If you are into water sports, you might not have to make a hole. Well, that, that, well, that also, but... I'm not sure I, I, you know what, let's just, let's just leave it at that. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> because I know myself and, and I, I always take it like too far into these things and I keep talking and I keep talking and I'm like, okay, let's just, let's just acknowledge the comment and let's just move on. <laughs> Before I say the wrong things. <laughs> Lieber hello, welcome on in. I said, thank you. Thank you. We did it again today. Um, I was debating with myself whether or not I wanted to get blue again, but Peter was like, no, I want pink. So, so pink it is. Pink it is. And it matches, like, I, I now notice it matches my, my ears. It's kind of like almost the same sort of shade of pink, which is kind of cool. I like that. I couldn't help myself. No, you're totally fine. You're totally fine. <laughs> that's the, that's the thing. Sometimes I can't help myself as well. And then I just keep on talking. And I'm like, you know, while I'm talking, I'm like, why am I still talking about this? Nobody wants to, like, no, why? It's almost Christmas, you need it to go green. Well, I I probably need it to go like half green, half red. Because that's like, you know, for some reason, that's the Christmas colors, green and red. So I probably should have done that. Um, but I didn't. So so here we are. I didn't do that. But I probably should have done that. Um, but I didn't. So yeah. Um, t -t 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 -t. So yeah, I'm guessing, like I said, I'm thinking we're going to play some... Um, um, some Fortnite tonight. We're gonna check out the new season a little bit more. Only 17 days till Christmas. 17 days? Heck, that is uh, that is not that many days. 17 days. Wow. Are you guys ready for Christmas? Are you guys like? Do you guys have like a tree already and like Christmas presents? We don't have a tree. I don't think we're not gonna put on put up a tree because a we don't have a tree because we sold our Christmas tree a couple of years ago. Uh, but also, we don't really have the space for a Christmas tree, especially with, like, you know, the doggo that we have as well. Uh, yeah, a Christmas tree is not really going to fit anywhere. So last year, or like, well, actually two years ago, we had, like, a miniature tree. Or we had, like, a wooden tree, like, basically, like, a cutout of a tree that we put down. Um, but yeah, we just don't really have, like, any, um, any Christmas tree-like decorations that we have. So, you know, it's okay. I wrote in my diary today and I realized I wrote on the wrong page and I'm just sitting here now considering if I should erase it and rewrite it or let it be and destroy my OCD nerves. Wait, on the or on the wrong page? Like, like I, I, is your diary like dated? I totally feel that though, but I think if you erase it, it's not gonna, you know, you will still see that. And so I think your OCD might get worse if you erase it and write it again. So I think for me, I would just let it be if it was me. A tree is still in the storage. Hope we can get it out this weekend. Nice. 
Speaking of not being able to help yourself, I'm playing with sound AI at the moment. Yeah, there's so many new AI tools. I mean, I see, I, I've also seen this one that I would love to try out myself. Um, but I, I see this one that a lot of people are using currently that is like a text AI that where you can basically give it a prompt and then it will give you like a piece of text based on your prompt. And like the prompts that I've seen, I'm like impressed that AI actually wrote that. Like the other day I saw someone on Reddit um, make a like like you know like a story outline for the last of us part three and i was reading it i was like this seems like this ai really knows the games and like knows what happened and like i was genuinely impressed with this text ai i don't know what it's called though so if anyone happens to know like this this famous sort of like text ai that everyone is using right now on social media uh, if anyone knows what it's called because i would love to try it out myself uh let me know in chat don't post a link because you know that's not gonna work um, but if anyone has like the URL, then let me know because I would love to see that. I would love to try it out myself and give it like a text prompt and see how well um, it's going to work. Because, you know, I always am very impressed with stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. I threw away my Christmas tree. Yeah, so we sold ours, uh, I want to say like a couple of years ago. If you want the URL, I can send. Wait, do you have the one? You have like the text one, Libas? Yeah, if you have it, then definitely uh, let me know because I, I would love to try it out. In my case, it's a vocal isolation AI, so I'm playing with creating instrumental versions of obscure songs. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Wait, let me uh, let me give you permission, uh, uh, Libra, so you can share that link. You got 60 seconds. Go. I, sh I should have something like... Like, uh, wait, is it that? Hey, oh, you need to sign up? Why do I need to awesome. sign up? I don't want to sign up. Okay, well, I'm going to check that out later, though. A woo monster minty. You are I don't awesome. want to sign up. I just Thank want to use it. Nine month resub. Awu love you. You hacking amazing pupper less than three. Less than three minty. Minty. Thank you so much for the. Uh, what is that? Nine month resub. That is so sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and also no you. No you. <laughs> How are you doing, minty? Welcome on in. It's only SMS sign up. Well, that's even worse. I don't want them to have my phone number. Um, you can also write code. Okay, I'm gonna check that out. Uh, less than three you so much, Jordy. I less than three you as well, Minty. <laughs> oh, it's so funny if you would say that, like, if you would say that to random people, it's like, if you say something like, oh, I less than three you so much, they would probably be like, wait, what does that mean? Uh, but I think if you say that to any, um, um, like Twitch stream, I'm sure that most, I'm sure that some of them uh, definitely know like what you're saying. And it's like, oh, I less than three you as well. <laughs> How funny would that be? Uh, I like the one that someone asked the story to improve Wi-Fi signal. Uh, and it started a story about a man who wanted to watch a stream with his friends, but his Wi-Fi quality was bad and how he improved it. Yeah, right? Like, I've seen so many amazing sort of, like, t t written text from, like, you know, those kind of prompts. I'm like, man, I, I want to I wanna try that out myself. I can't wait to sort of try that out myself. So, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, hugs and snuggles to you. Definitely feeling you on the tired, right? Yeah, I'm so, I'm really, like, um... I was saying this before, I'm not necessarily like super duper like tired tired as in like I can't, I, I want to go get some sleep but I'm more like tired as in I don't want to, I don't want to stream until 1am and be, you know, on the entire time. Tired. I've seen the mid journey. I have seen, I've seen people mention mid, excuse me, I've seen people mention mid journey. Um... I don't think if I, I'm not sure if I've seen it. Like, is that the one where people post like these amazing sort of 3D slash hand drawn AI pictures of themselves? Is that Mid Journey? Because um, I, I mean, I've seen people post that, but I have no idea. Like, I've seen a lot of different AI um, things, you know, pop up on social media these days. So I'm not sure which is which, kind of, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure which is which. I feel tired as well lately, hence why I was so forlorn last Saturday. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's it's. I don't necessarily have this, like, you know, it's not something that I can say that I have the last couple of, like, weeks or something. It's just, like, today that I really noticed that. You can give some keywords or sentences and I, I can turn it into an image right now and I can post it in Discord. Server. Oh, yeah. Okay, do something with... 
I don't know, do something with like puppies and like pup hoods and gear. If you can come up with something funny. I'm just gonna keep my words to myself on that subject. AI, yeah, I know it's a very touchy subject, especially when it comes to like artists. Um, I personally... Okay, so my take on AI is I think it's fascinating. Let's just say that I think it's fascinating. I'm like easily impressed with most things, with like a lot of things. Like I'm easily impressed with like um, technology, but also with like, you know, other things that just work. And I'm like impressed with AI, especially with the quality of like the AI stuff that I see lately. I do understand, though, that artists are like, you know, AI is evil because it's sort of, you know, it's taking existing things and then it's copying that and then it's using that and then it's making its own thing based on that. I'm like, yeah, I can also see that. So I can definitely see why AI has like, you know, good things, but also bad things. Um, so I think my stance on it is relatively neutral at the moment. Like, I don't hate it. I don't love it. I think there could be some good, you know, uses with AI. I also think there could be some really bad uses with AI. So, like, for instance, the thing that I, again, think is super impressive, but at the same time, super scary and dangerous, even, is like, you know, deep fakes. Like, you see these videos of, like, you know, so-called President Biden that is, like, saying things, and you see, like, you know, moving imagery and those kind of things. Uh, and he, you know, they can make him say whatever they want. I'm um, like, those kind of things can be uh, super impressive that it's possible, but also like super dangerous because what if someone makes a video of um, uh, 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 like President Biden and then makes him say that he hates Korea and he wants to start a war with Korea or something like that, you know, like what if someone makes a video like that and then sends that out to the internet and then Korea is like, what the hell is this? Okay, you want to have a war, here's your war, boom, and then they launch like a nuke. I'm sure it's not going to happen that fast and things will not escalate that quickly. But like, you know, the 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 uses of these kind of things are very, um, you know, it, it's very like, you know, you want to make sure that you use it for things that are good and not bad, obviously. Uh, but unfortunately, people will not always do that. Um, so yeah. The thing about it is they're using copyrighted images and even medical photos and stuff without permission to train the databases. That's the main issue. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, so, so like I said, I think there's definitely like some good sides and like some good sort of like, for instance, the text. I was talking about a text AI. And again, I'm not sure like, you know, Libra's linked something just now. I'm not sure if that's the one that I'm talking about. Um, but I saw this, I'm not sure if I can see that still, but I saw this Reddit topic the other day about how someone used a text AI to make the script for The Last of Us Part 3, which is a game that isn't like, you know, it's not in development or anything like that. But someone was like, hey, I'm going to make AI. I'm going to use AI to make the script for that game. And I was reading that. I was like, man, this is actually surprisingly, I mean, it wasn't great. You know, I mean, if that was the, the story of the game, I would be like, okay, well, this is an okay storyline, but I was very impressed with like what it could do. Um, and also like, for instance, I saw MKBHD, a well-known YouTuber. Um, I saw him post like, you know, on Twitter as well a couple of days ago, some screenshots of like that same text AI, where he asked the text AI to make a script for a video on iOS versus Android, like a very generic topic. It was like, make an MKBHD video on iOS versus Android. and. The script, I was like, this could literally, someone could copy paste this and this could be a video on YouTube and it would be a good video on YouTube. Okay, well, maybe not the best video on YouTube, but like story wise and, and text wise, I would be like, this could definitely be like, you know, you could just copy paste this and you have a script for a video on YouTube. How cool is that? Um, so, so yeah, I don't know. I think those things were made with chat.openai.com. Is that the same? Yeah, I think that's the same one that um, that Libus was linking as well. Oh, wait, there's like an exceptionally high demand. Yeah, so maybe everyone is like using that at the moment. <laughs> so I guess that makes sense. Everyone is using that. As an artist, I feel like the craft can never be automated. It hinges on humans' experience and emotions. So even though AI can create pretty pictures, it can never create something that really moves someone. Yeah. Yeah, and like I was saying as well, and that's sort of like, you know, the bad side of AI is that it just takes things from like, you know, things and then it creates something of its own. Um, so so I totally I totally see how like artists especially think that AI is, you know, like not a good thing. I totally see that as well. Um, so, yeah. 
Jordy coming with a new Fallout game storyline. Yeah, I just created the new Fallout storyline, Fallout 5, Bethesda. Get on it. <laughs> Nobody likes Fallout 76. Move on from that. Start working on Fallout 5. I was hungrier than I thought I was. Well, it's good that you uh, you ate something then. I posted on Discord. Oh, wait, let me check it out. Oh, wait, no, those are ta those are the Sally's tacos. Wait, where did you post it, uh, uh, Libus? I don't see it yet. I don't see it yet. Where where did you where did you put it? The only draw of Fallout 76 was the multiplayer, but it's still busted otherwise. Yeah, I mean. Wait, the owner of the delicious hangout has requested that Discord block any messages are mostly accurate robots deemed to be explicit, so your message has not been sent. Oh, wait, do I have that set? I mean, I guess that is something that I've set up, uh, apparently. Um, interesting, though. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. Pep Omega, hello, hello, how are you? Hello. Hello to you as well. But yeah, Fallout 76, the idea was pretty good, but indeed, like, the multiplayer, I'm just like, I want to play a Fallout game by myself. I don't want to have to worry about, like, other human players, because, um... That, that, like, no, I just want to play the game myself. That's also the, the main reason and the only reason, I guess, hey, why hello. I don't Good play um, GDA Online or Red Dead Online, because I'm like, I don't want to have to deal with other players. I want to just, I just want to have more story content and I don't want to have to deal with other human players that might, you know, like, grieve me or um, whatever. So, yeah. Uh, let's see, Tenglu, thanks so much for the follow. Welcome to the delicious people. How are you doing today? Welcome on in. I mean, the Discord bots blocked me sending a picture of my coffee once. Wow. To be honest, it was mostly milk with coffee flavor, so the bit might have been the bot might have been offended that I called it coffee. <laughs> That's funny. Actually, recently went back and started a new game in Fallout 4 with oodles of mods. Yeah, I actually wanted to get back into Fallout 4 myself as well. Because I have it, I, I got it on Steam. I think I even have it installed, not sure though. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe that could be like a fun game that we stream uh, eventually as well. Because it's been years since I've played Fallout 4. I'm good, how are you? I'm doing I'm doing okay uh, okay as well, Pep Omega. Slightly tired, slightly tired, but other than that, I'm doing good. I send it as a DM, let me see. Um. Oh yeah, I see that. Oh wow, these are, oh wow. Okay, I don't think I can show these on stream, though, because they might be slightly, um, you know, I'm not sure if I can show these off on stream, but that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure. Wait, I want to show these on stream, though, but I'm not sure if I can. I mod the absolute bananas out of Fallout 4. Lots of companion mods. I played it on, uh, on PlayStation, so... Oh, on PlayStation, on Xbox, even. Xbox 360. Um, but yeah, oh man, I, I, I guess we can show, you know what, I guess I can show this off on stream, I guess, maybe, I think. At least, th at least this first one. This first one for sure. Um, I'm not sure what you typed in, what, like, your prompt was. Um, oh wait, I think I can see that. Man wears a pup mask, look at this. Well, this is kind of crazy, though, because it kind of looks like an actual sort of dog mask thing but that is kind of cool i think that is kind of cool and then we have these you know what the other ones no i'm not going to show the other ones because I'm, i think they might be might not be tos appropriate but i think this is kind of cool that you know this 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 is just made out of nothing it looks kind of weird it looks completely weird because you know the ears are kind of very like busted and whatnot but at the same time i'm like okay impressive that like ai did this again i'm not saying that i love ai but i am saying that i'm impressed with what it can do. So like, don't don't be like, you know, that I'm like hating artists and I'm like, you know, AI is the future because that's not necessarily what I'm saying. Don't, but don't cancel me because I think AI is impressive. But you have to say it is impressive, right? Like, it's pretty cool that this was not a thing just now and, and now it is. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> AI can help us, but never replace humans. I think that is a very good way of putting it, yes. I think indeed like AI can help us, but I don't think it, it will never be able to replace humans because 
there always will be flaws and there always will be things that AI cannot do properly and humans can. But I do think it can help us when you use it for the right things. I think that is definitely something that I do believe. When you use it for the right things, it can definitely help us. Um, AI cancel Mr. Delicious. Yeah, no, don't do that. Don't cancel me. <laughs> Heck. I said I want to use AI in the stock market. See, now that is that is a thing where I'm like, yeah, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. That's one of the reasons I love Fallout 4, because it's settlement building. Wait, wasn't there like bigger sort of like settlement building in Fallout 76 though? Like you you have like your entire camp. I feel that I've seen images of people having like massive sort of like, you know, settlements and encampments and, and stuff like that. Or was that also Fallout 4? I'm, I'm kind of not sure anymore though. Uh, Pavili, hello. Don't squint at me though. Don't squint at me like that. <laughs> it needs to learn everything in the past and know when to buy or sell. Yeah, but that is definitely something where I'm like, yeah, maybe humans could do that better. I think. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. What do I know? I know nothing. What sign is that done by mid journey and that is something that you need to pay for then, Libus? Or is that something that like basically everyone can use? I got carried away and packed away half of my computer stuff, but I forgot to not pack my keyboard and mouse and only realized it now. <laughs> oh, wow. Not like that. Is this any better? Wait. Hmm. I mean, I guess I like the other squint better, though. I guess I like the other squint better because it slides in, you know, like that. That's what makes it so good. It slides in. I like that. I think that's funny. Um, anyway, Chad, we're going to go play some games. I'm kind of ready to play some games. So um, let me quickly check my phone because I got some notifications. Um, All right. Everyone can use it, but if you don't buy a subscription, you'll only create 25 pictures. Ah, okay. With a subscription, you can create 20, 200 a month. So without it, can you create 25 um, in total, like, you know, forever or 25 per month? Oh, what is that? So snowy. Better TTV global emotes. Wait, is that a global emote? I've never seen. I've never seen that. Is that new? I didn't create that. Is that like a new thing? That is so funny. Because it's a me, but it's so snowy. All right, let me uh, boot up Fortnite. We're going to check out the new season tonight, chat. Um, also, I got the hiccups from my Rockstar Energy drink. Uh, so let's do that. You know, well, you can also, you know, you guys can also redeem the snow and then it starts snowing on the entire stream. How cool is that? Were you able to do that yourself, Minty, by the way? Because you were talking about that the other day, how you wanted to uh, have a snow redeem of yourself. Were you able to make that happen or do you need like some help with that or is everything fine? Or like if I need to help you, just just, you know, you know where to find me. Because I'd love to help you if you need it. All right. Also, we got a, uh, we got, well, we don't necessarily have a new flag, but we do have a, well, we do have a new flag in the Redeem. Uh, there's a new polyamorous flag, apparently, that Sally pointed out, pointed out, pointed, blah, 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 blah. let's rewind. There's a new polyamorous flag, apparently, that Sally pointed out to me, so I put that in the, um, in the Redeem. It's, it's now the updated new version of the flag. Uh, I think it was, was it a polyamorous flag? I think, I think it was, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. The old one was with, like, the pie symbol um and now the new one is like with the heart and then three colors i think it's kind of a cool flag it looks pretty cool so i updated that in the in the rotation and in the redeem as well so um, if it lands on the poly flag you will see the new one uh, i'm off but i hope you all have the great rest of your day no worries Papa mega thank you so much for stopping by have a good one have a good one I'm still pondering it because I have some snow built into my overlays already. So I'm wondering if I should make a redeem for it since it's there already. I mean, if you have it already, then, you know, I mean, I like this over. I think this redeem makes it very sort of cozy and, and, and nice. But, you know, of 
course, you know, whatever, whatever you like. Yay, Polly, because I'm Polly. Yeah. I mean, we have a lot of flags in the in the redeem, of course. Um, but um, the thing is that you know, apparently there's a new updated Poly Poly Emirates flag. Um, so I I put the new newly updated one. I put that in the uh, in the rotation instead of the old one. So that is the new thing. Uh, all right, let's shuffle though. I think that's a good idea. Let's go ahead and shuffle. We're gonna build. Uh, we're gonna actually do. Solos instead of trios. We're level 15 currently. Maybe I should make a Blizzard redeem. Just so much snow. <laughs> Honestly, I prefer the one with the Infinity Heart, but that one was the one that won. Yes, yeah, so I saw there was also like another design that you shared as well with the Infinity Heart. I thought that was a pretty cool one as well. Um... But I, I also really like the one that they actually went with. Now, of course, you can always argue, like, you know, how much, um, um, you know, how, how, how can one, how can one sort of party decide on, like, you know, a flag for an entire community, I guess. Um, so, you know, that, that is, of course, an argument that you might be able to have. Um, but, um, yeah, well... Are they an omnisexual flag? I don't know. I've never seen that, but I uh, I don't know. I don't also. I also don't know necessarily what omnisexual is, what it means. Uh, but I might be able to check it out. Or you know, if you know there is a flag like an official flag for it, I, you know, I can definitely add that to the list. Because that's well, I mean, I always love it um, when um, this. Oh wait, let's have a look. Hang on. Let's have a look if there is a flag. Oh, there is a flag. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, I mostly go off of like um, Wikipedia, but I might definitely look into that though. Earlier today, I mentioned that no matter what, I'm currently one third on my way to a poly relationship. Wait, I'm not sure if I get that. Because you are, you have yourself, so you only need two more people. Is that what you mean? <laughs> Identify as an omnisexual before I thought I was pan since my teenagers. After reading about that one, I realized that I am omnisexual. So can you explain what the difference is? Because you say it's pansexual, but more selective. Like, can you can you explain like, you know, what the exact differences are? Got to think about Snow Redeem for a bit. I mean, you, you do what you like, Minty, right? Like, don't don't let me tell you what you need to do, of course, or what you should do. Um, but I personally like my, my Snow Redeem because I think it's kind of nice and cozy and festive. And I like... Well, I like cozy and festive. And seeing as you are very cozy as well, um, I, I thought maybe it would work for you as well. All right, let's hope that this unlocks this area. It does not. Oh, wait, it does actually. Perfect. So has anyone played the new season of Fortnite yet? And if so, what do you think of the new map? Do you have an opinion on the new map? It's still buggy at times, I feel. I feel sometimes it's still kind of buggy. Because objects sometimes sort of float in midair, which is kind of weird. Pansexual is attracted to all genders without seeing differences. Omnisexual is still like all of the genders, but some of them are more sexually attractive for them. All right. I guess I sort. I guess I sort of understand it. Oh yeah, so this is something new, um, which I think is kind of interesting as well. A kind of, kind of an interesting mechanic that they added. A 
I finally ordered the last gift for my boyfriend. Nice. I was going to ask you what it is, but, uh, you know, don't tell me because he might be watching and or listening and we don't want him to know, of course, unless you want him to know, but I, I don't think you do. So don't tell me. I haven't loaded up at all. I played this, uh, I played the new season basically all all Sunday afternoon with, uh, with Peter and a friend of ours. The new map didn't change my opinion of Fortnite. I kind of figured that it wouldn't. <laughs> so I guess I, that's not surprising. We'll text you to text us to your private. Oh yes, I'll check it out. Uh, I'll check it out later when I uh, when I when I have a chance. I'm not sure if me and Peter are gonna do like actual gifts. I might have to talk to him about that. If we will actually, you know, give each other gifts or not. I'm not sure yet. Wait, there's a... Wait, where is it? Like all day is already playing Fortnite? Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of fun playing basically all Sunday, uh, all Sunday afternoon. We started at like 4 p.m. ish, I guess, and we ended at like 11, 11 p.m. We did have dinner in between, but, you know. Regardless of this new map, I probably won't be able to run the game very well as usual. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. That's really a bummer. They did add some new graphical enhancements, though, so maybe that is, like, either a good thing or a bad thing for you, Minty. But, yeah, I totally, I totally see how that could be very annoying. I'm also not sure if it runs very smoothly on stream now, actually. I feel that it totally should, but I'm not sure if it does. All right, let's see. We are already in the storm, so that's perfect. Do we have anything here that is already... I mean, you can try to go make our way over there, which is that way. Looks like they changed the lighting system a bit. Yeah, so they added... Uh, they changed it to Unreal Engine 5.1. Uh, fire is, like, completely different. If you see fire in the game now, it's, like, so different compared to what it used to be. Uh, and I think, indeed... Um, Nice. I think indeed, like the entire lighting system is also has also gotten like an overhaul. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Like there was an entire blog post about like everything that has changed, and I was like, yeah, I have no time to sort of read that. Or you know, I mean, I have time, but I don't necessarily understand most of those things anyway. Um, but yeah, the entire fire system has also gotten like an overhaul. I mean, I'm not sure if I can show you this to you if I just throw this grenade in here. If it actually starts a fire, I'm not sure. It does not. Okay. Well, if I can catch fireflies, I'll show you like the the new difference. Like fire looks so much more realistic now. I made the light to my favorite color, so you don't need a light like that. Well, it's basically a Philips U light that is controlled by well by you guys. It's uh, the Philips U Go, I think it's called. I think that's what it's called. Uh, and then basically, you you guys control it with with commands. Or channel points. I need to make a video about that. I, I should probably do that soon. I need to make multiple videos, actually. I have some ideas for multiple uh, multiple videos that I want to make. Um, I just noticed that lately I really am not... Ha I haven't been really in, like, a video-making mood, if that makes sense. Like, I still want to make videos, but, like, I haven't really felt like making any new videos, if that makes sense. Especially the editing. I was like, I can film the videos, but I also need to edit them. And especially that part, I was kind of like, yeah, I don't feel like editing. Um, wait, there's someone here. Let's first reload my shotgun. Mm, I heard someone. I don't know where they are, though. So yeah, I might make some videos, uh, maybe I should like film a couple of videos sort of back to back or like, you know, over the course of like a week and then maybe like another week I should take to just edit those videos and then schedule them on YouTube so I have, you know, some more content instead of like, you know, making one video, editing that and then having to work on like, you know, another video like a week later or something. Maybe that would be like a good idea. Because I still want to make videos, and I, like I said, I have an, I, I have a couple of ideas for a couple of videos already. Uh, but like, it's just the filming and editing of them that I don't really feel like. My credit card is not happy at the moment. 
My credit card is still mad at me for buying that wetsuit. Still need to, uh, still need to pay for that as well. Okay, there is someone nearby because I saw footsteps. I'm not sure where they are though. But you know, what? I'm not really going to stick around to find out. You can also buy the Philips Hue Christmas lights, put it in your tree, and we can control that. Yeah, but we don't have a tree, so that's not going to work. I mean, it's a fun idea, but that that that's wouldn't necessarily work unless I have like a tiny tree behind me or something. All right, so there's that's the person. Oh, wait, is that Alta Ear? I think it is. Didn't know there was an Alta Ear skin. You have to put a tree inside your bedroom for that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And I don't think that's going to fit. With the lights up above the wall, above the bed. Well, in a future stream room, I would love to have... Uh, if I have, if I would have, like, you know, like a house with a future stream room, I would love to have, like, nano, nano leaf panels. And I would love to have, like, a Philips Hue light strip that you, can go, you guys can control as well. So that the entire background... Like, more of the entire background would be, like, illuminated. But, you know, currently that's just not really feasible. Because also, you know, obviously this is also our bedroom, so we also want to keep this nice for sleeping in, I guess. Um, so yeah. Alright. Oh, what is this? Something gold? Thunder shotgun? I'll take that. Okay, there's the guy. Or, or gal. Let's not assume gender. There they were. Perfect. Light effects new job. I re already have that. But full room light effects. Wait, light effects new job? I don't get I don't, I'm not sure if I get it. Hot chocolate and watching... Oh wait, Christmas with the chill snow is just lovely. Hot chocolate and watching the outside from the window. On sub, not job. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Light effects on new sub. Yeah, we, we already, I think we already have that. We do have it for new follows. We have it for bits, I believe as well. I'm not entirely sure if I still have it set up for um, new subs because of the way that Streamabot works. So I might have disabled that. But I think it should also work on new subs. I think. Yeah, see, now it flashes green. Because you cheered biddies. Flash. Flash. Exactly. Flash. Or shockwave. Me die! Hey, my buddy. How are you doing? We're coming in. Hello, hello. All right, let's see if we can unlock this part of the map as well, because this is another part that I haven't unlocked yet. I feel that the game is not running like super smoothly, but I'm not sure if it's actually, if that's true or not. Okay, I think that is what unlocks that part, and I'm not going to be able to get there because it's in the storm, so let's just go left here. Flash and Spider-Man sitting in a bar. Uh-oh, what's gonna happen? Wait, Flash Thompson? Or the Flash from DC? Because that's, you know, those are both, you know, options. Flash Thompson and Spider-Man could be sitting in a bar. But also the Flash from DC. So which one are we talking about? Because both of them I find kind of highly unrealistic. <laughs> Flash suit swings. Hey, listen, we all know I have a Spider-Man suit that I've worn on the stream as well. We all know how much I enjoy wearing that suit. Still want to get a better one at some point, though, but for that, I also want to lose some weight first. Why do you want to flash the suit twinks? <laughs> so we can change their... Um, we can change their, uh, their, their memory their OS. We, we need to flash them. You know, we need to flash their, their OS <laughs> or something like that. I don't know how flashing works. I love seeing you play Fortnite. I'm lurking though, trying to edit my video. I have 
to make the browser smaller for that and I can't see the chat that way. Oh, that's okay, honey. That's okay. You do edit your video. And you're hacking good in it. Oh, thank you, Minty. Oh, you haven't seen me in my new wetsuit, have you? I showed it up on stream just now, but I might, I, I might, if you want, I, I might show you a, a photo of me wearing it. Because I don't think you've, you've seen it yet. Oh, it was Doom Guy. Hello, Doom Guy. Oh, crap. There's someone else. There's someone else. There's someone else. Where are they? Okay, there they were. I saw them. Too late. Too late. <laughs> Alright, well, that was the first game. It didn't count. First game doesn't count, chat. Dude is always super duper handsome. Oh, stop it. But he's really handsome in his new wetsuit. Jordy is always really super duper handsome. <laughs> super duper handsome. <laughs> That's sweet. Thank you for the bits. Sure, I'll I'll send you uh, I send a photo of you later on 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 the Discord. I'll I'll, I'll DM you if you are curious. Always a super handsome sweetie puppy. No, stop it. Stop complimenting me. I don't know how to deal with that. Your two's relationship is so cute. No, we're not cute. Well, Peter is cute, but I'm I'm not cute. Stop it. I'm not cute. All right, let's see. Where can we land now? So I still haven't unlocked this entire part. I haven't unlocked this. I haven't unlocked this. Maybe I want to land here, see if we unlock this entire part. I don't think we unlock this entire part, but maybe part of it, which is also okay. It's weird though, because I feel that this was already unlocked, so I'm not sure why it's locked again. If you wear the Superman skin, you're cute. Crap, I'm wearing the Superman skin. What can I do? Wait, wait, wait. Ha! Huh. Clark Kent. Gotcha. <laughs> Just accept the compliment, and yes, you are. Pepperminty says so. Dang it! Well, if Pepperminty says so, then I guess it must be true. Listen, I'm just very bad at accepting compliments. Okay, it's just I, I, I'm, I'm just very bad. If you were Clark Kent, you are super duper cute. No. Okay, then we'll go back to Superman again, because that is actually way hotter, though. I think. You guys are way too sweet, though. Can I, can I say that you guys are way too sweet? Alright, jumping. Exactly. I only tell you all these things because they are true and I love you. And I I I less than three you as well, Minty. <laughs> I feel that I've already been here, so I'm not sure why it's locked again on the map. Maybe the map is just weird. Because I feel that I've... Have I been here? I feel that I've been here already. It's okay, though. We'll we'll just unlock it again. And get more XP based off of that. It would be nice if I can get something else as well. Other than just these grey weapons. I still have a headache. Anyway, I'm out of the chat and tried to focus on my video for a bit. Still watching. No worries, sweetie. No worries. You do you do that. Hopefully things go well and you can focus. Yeah, so talking about like my videos just now as well really gave me like a good idea of trying to sort of make a bit of a um, production workflow kind of thing. So I might try that in, well, maybe one of the next couple of weeks because like I said, I have a couple of video ideas that I really want to make. Um, but it's just like, you know, I don't feel like editing things. So I feel like maybe if I film like maybe one, two or three videos, like maybe three videos or two, maybe like two or three. Like if I can film them and then, um, uh oh, like if I can film them in one week and then edit them in like, you know, another week, then maybe I can just use 
that as sort of like a buffer and then, you know, upload them on YouTube in like consecutive weeks after that. It could actually be like a good idea. So like I said, I have a couple of ideas that I need to work on. And yeah. Why does he have a boy called Fortnite hashtag on top of his stick? Wait, he does? Oh yeah, I see what you mean. He does have sort of like, yeah, it, it does kind of look like a hashtag. Yeah, I see what you mean. Uh, let's go with this one, even though I don't like any of them. <laughs> Pups killed. Yeah, I know, but they were going to kill me. I didn't want to do it, but they were going to kill me otherwise. And we don't like that as well. So it was me or them. Where's the circle? Okay, it's not really that far away. I feel this spider of oh, this Spider-Man, the Superman suit really is like super tight though. And I don't know, there's something about it that I'm like that I'm like it it, it looks it feels kind of off. But I can't really put my finger on it. But something feels off. Okay, let's just drop this here so we can get the last... Oh! Okay, well there it is. I didn't plan on doing that, but okay, now it's there. Also, oh whoa, the Superman spandex shoulders, right? Yeah. We love some good spandex shoulders. At least I do. I think it's mostly that he doesn't have his cape. Yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah, because we are not really used to seeing his back, I guess. So maybe that's it, that we're not used to seeing what his back looks like of the suit. And that is that that is why it kind of looks weird. Why am I missing all of my shots? Someone! Wow. <laughs> Okay, that was bad. His back looks so biteable. <laughs> like fresh, fresh to put some scratches and bite marks. I don't know why. Well, I mean, I'm now playing with a wolf skin, so. I'm really hoping, but I don't think so since, you know, they haven't implemented it yet. But normally they always have like this sort of advent calendar in the game. And I always love that. But they don't have that this year yet. I'm not sure if they're going to do it. You was doing so good though. It's just how it go. Yeah, I guess. I'm a kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, wait, wait. This is more appropriate though. The Howling Wolf, because I am a wolf. Also, this is like one of my favorite new dances. Uh, this one. I don't know why, but I feel this song is such a bop. And the dance is kind of cool too. It was a hunky wolfy puppy. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's see. Where have we not landed yet that we can maybe unlock the map for? Let's try this. Might be a bit too close to the battle bus path though, but we'll see. Also, it's very interesting how there's a little bit of green over here. Like, it's, it's all, like, snowy, and then there's, like, a tiny bit of green just right there. I wonder if there's something hidden in underneath this um, part of the map. If that's why it's still green here. Okay, please tell me there's some weapons here. That is perfect. No, 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 don't jump off. Crap. I 
things maybe to do with the island mesh together. Oh yeah, that might make sense. Yeah, maybe that's it. I don't know. That could be it. All right, I'm not sure where I need to be here in order to unlock this part of the map. Let's drive around for a little bit. Uh, I'll take that. Level up. We love to see it. Alright, so we did unlock this part of the map. Let's see if we can also get the other one. It's funny, I'm like, Fortnite is basically a shoujo anime at this point with how many times the world has been destroyed. <laughs> yeah, this is like the fourth iteration of the island, I guess. No, not I guess. I actually know that it is. All right, so that's this part of the map unlocked. Okay, so it's still not the other part of the map unlocked, so I'm not sure where I need to go for that. But let's quickly go towards the circle, which is all the way over there. One head pass, but I can't get it. So here are head pads on my behalf. Oh, thank you. I love head pads. If you ever see me, like if we ever meet and I'm like, you know, in, in sort of puppy mode. Um, I guess consider this to be my, you know, me giving you consent to give me head pads. Is also all the pets of all kinds. So do you. So do all the puppies. All the good boys and girls. All the good pups. They all deserve the head pets. Bye. Like bars from eliminated players. Okay, that's apparently a uh, daily quest that we can do. I really like the new map though, like from what I've seen so far, I really like it. The only thing that I don't fully sort of understand is why it seems to have like a bit of a medieval theme. Like I don't necessarily hate it, but I just don't necessarily understand why there is like a medieval theme going on. Um, but other than that, I do definitely like the new map. I think I like it better than the previous season's map. Like I didn't hate that one, but I just never really vibed with it too much. So. If I'm being super honest, I don't necessarily mind that they, um, that the season has changed or that they, they kind of, you know, created a brand new map again for, um, for this season. I don't necessarily mind it because I didn't love the previous map too much. I saw someone there. Imagine being gay in the Middle Ages. Yeah, the chrome was a bit obnoxious to me. Yeah, like... That and also like all the flying like, you know, POVs. I didn't really like those either. Like the POVs that were like in the uh, in the sky. I, I always sort of disliked them. And more of more, more and more of them sort of came, came to the island. So yeah, I didn't necessarily love this previous island. Also, I don't fully understand this mechanic, but I do like it because you get XP and you get like, you know, better guns and stuff, better loot. Right. I 
thought that cracking noise was coming from my window. No, I think it is uh, this uh, this flagpole, I guess. <laughs> WTF is happening. <laughs> Wait, you don't get XP for that though? Oh, I thought you would also get XP, but maybe not then. Well, it is kind of nice that it does show it does show like all the locations of the of the um, um, the treasure chest. So that's kind of nice. Hey, hello. Did they XP see? five thousand? Oh, really? I didn't see that. Right, right under the king of the castle. bit. ah, oh, I get. I guess I didn't see that. Um, Soro Carrier, welcome in. How are you doing? Thanks so much for that follow, and welcome to the delicious people. How are you doing today? Welcome in. Die again. Yeah, I mean, I'm playing with uh, uh, with randomized skin, so it's sh shuffle is enabled, but Dahlia is definitely one of my favorites. I love him. We're coming in. How are you doing? I'm sorry if I butchered your name, by the way. If I mispronounce it, let me know. I don't think I see the other treasure chests anymore. We are within the circle though, so I might as well check out some more rooms here. I hate that I, uh, it that on phone the chat gets cleared every time I change window. Oh really? That's annoying. After three chapters, I'm still waiting for a second werewolf skin or a Dia 2.0. Yeah, I'm so happy that I uh, actually got the Dia because. I think Dio was like the first season that I started playing with the Battle Pass. Uh, so I'm very happy that I actually have him at all. Because, you know, obviously it's a, it's a pretty old skin at this time. When Dio came out, that's when I tried to be a sweat. <laughs> Oh, gold. Nowadays I am a sweat. I mean, I don't feel that I really have like sweaty gameplay. That's why I play. Uh, I only play no, no, no build mode because I'm like, yeah, I don't necessarily like the sweaty, sweaty builds. So I just play to have fun. And if I win, that's fun. If I don't win, well, that's less fun, but still, I still enjoy my time in the game. Division 6 in Arena. I, I have no idea if that's good, though. I'm, I'm assuming that's good, but I, I actually have no idea. Let's take that. And let's take this. I want the... Explosive Bow. I was playing games for more than six and seven years, I guess. Oh, wow. That's a long time. Well, I love playing games, obviously, since, you know, I'm a streamer, so I guess it makes sense that I do, but I actually really do love playing games. Games also do make me sad sometimes, though, like, for instance, now with, um, you know, us, us almost having finished Uncharted 4 again. Like, I have played it before, so I know, like, what's going to happen and stuff, but I love that game so much. So I'm always a little bit sad that it's, like, over, if that makes sense. After getting into the business world, I stopped playing games. I mean, that's fair, though. That's fair. I should have picked the other one. Uh, I remember you. You always share tips on OBS and, and WA. Yeah, so I have a YouTube channel where I... Uh, wait, is that a... No, that's an NPC. Um, hello. Oh, he's got like all kinds of cool thingies here. That's kind of funny. But I have a YouTube channel where I share like all kinds of uh, streaming tips. Yeah, then I have a quick stream tip playlist. Uh, the idea of my videos is that I share the tip and that's it. So I don't go about and be like, you know, use my use my gamer code and use my creator code. And here's another 10 things that you can do. And, you know, like I don't make 10 minute videos only for like one minute of it to be the actual content of the video. I don't really believe in that. So I just make the tip and that's it. Um, but nice that you remember me from that, I guess. I got a job now, so less time to- hang on, hang on, hang on.
Okay, well, I'm not sure if they're going to come to me, so I'm just going to leave them. Uh, I got a job now, so less time to play, but I always spend it on my PC. Friday, my payday is coming, and I'm getting a 165 hertz monitor. Nice, so mine are 144 hertz, which I'm still pretty happy with. Oh, she's gonna get me, she's gonna get me, she's gonna get me. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, she is. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I knew that. Um, also, I noticed your mic placement is off camera. Where did you actually place it? It's right here. There it is. It's, it's right below. It's, it's literally just below the camera positioning <laughs> so i so it's yes it's just right there which is funny because i kind of wanted to get this particular mic because um i really like the way that this microphone looks so i kind of wanted to show it off on stream as well but lately i found that i really kind of like put it off screen um more and more not necessarily because i don't want to show it off but because i feel that it kind of works better because it's less like in my field of view um so yeah but it's still there and i'm glad with this microphone arm that i have i can just move it around easily and i can bring it closer if i want to or i can put it further away or if i want to like you know lean back i can just take it with me very easily so i'm very happy with with all of that it's a nice microphone arm honestly i hate it when you can't see the streamer's face because the mic is up in their face yeah i mean I'm always impressed with some streamers who have it like way sort of like, you know, up up here, sort of like when their microphone is like sort of up here off screen as well. Um, I'm always sort of impressed with that because I'm like, oh, man, how do they do that in terms of like audio? Um, let's try to unlock this section here as well. It's far enough away from the uh, from the battle bus. Also, I love this skin. Diver skin. I'm customer service plus sales rep for a telecommunications company based in the US. Ah, oh, nice. Wondering what to play today. What do you feel like playing, Minty? Or do you not feel like playing anything? Because that makes things a little bit more difficult, I guess. Like, yeah, I can hear you better, but like, I would also like to see your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally see what you mean. Actually, I have no idea. I feel you. I feel you. I sometimes have the same thing. Where I'm like, I don't know what to play today. That's why I'm always like, maybe I'm not sure if you have that as well, Minty, but I always am very happy with uh, sort of some sort of backup games that I always feel like playing. Like Fortnite is one of them. I think DBD is like my other one. Like if I don't know what I want to play on a certain day, I can always fall back on like either Fortnite or DBD. So having those kind of games is definitely very helpful, I think, because, well, like you, I also sometimes I'm like, yeah, I don't feel like playing anything. And then I still can always fall back on those games. I just received a mail from Google of my company profile at Google. 45, uh, 54 uh, people requested travel directions. Why? Do I need to lock my door? You can just buy a web hosting on my side. Don't come to my home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. I suppose I could play the new season opening of D2, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, I saw I got an email that there's like a new thing happening there. I want to get one of those master mounts with a heavy base so I can have Mike from above and carry my as close to my eye level as possible. Oh, like the Elgato ones. Yeah, those are pretty cool. A go-to comfy game when I don't feel like playing anything else is Slay the Spire at the moment. I've never played that. I, I've seen other people play it. I mean, I haven't actually seen other people play it, like literally, but I've seen it on my Steam list. Let's just say that. I've never played it myself, though, so I have no idea what kind of game it is. Did you know this taco company, AT&T? I do know AT&T. I mean, I've never used them, but I, I know, like, of them. Also, I'm a gear nerd. Well, me too, but I guess different kind of gear. <laughs> Is 
turn-based card uh turn-based card based roguelite game so you choose cards to do damage block damage to bosses ah uh, okay i don't think that would be my type of game though because i'm not really a huge fan of turn-based games um and i'm not a huge fan of like card based games either so i don't think it would be my type of game I'm lurking for a bit, gotta edit the vlog. No worries, uh, Sorrow Carrier. Thank you so much for the lurk. Thank you for the follow as well. Welcome to the community, and perhaps we'll see you again some other time. Alright, let's use this fancy new weapon. Boom! 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 I get so frustrated with card based games. Yeah, I'm just like. I don't know, I just don't always understand them, and then there's like so many different cards that you can choose from and stuff like that. It's like, yeah, it's just not my type of game. I just sort of give up. Definitely not for you then. What is lurking, by the way? So lurking is basically um, when you are in the stream, so like you have the streamer, but like you have it all in the background or you're not like actively watching... Uh, but you are still here. That's basically what lurking is. So, like, if you are not chatting in, like, you know, you're not saying anything in the chat, uh, you are considered a lurker, which is totally fine. I love my lurkers. So, like, people who, who just have the stream on in, like, the background and they are, like, you know, working on, on other things in, 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 at the same time, uh, I, I absolutely value them. I mean, I love it when people chat, obviously. Um... But I also love it when people lurk because, you know, that helps with my viewer stats and those kind of things, so... Um, yeah. Some streamers have them, just lets streamers know that person is lurking in the background. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you use the lurk command, that I, then basically it's like saying like, Hi, I'm here, but I'm not really saying anything else after this. So, you know, don't ask me questions or don't interact with me because I'm not going to be, you know, paying attention. And it's not necessarily like, you know, it's not a requirement. Like sometimes it's also it's also totally fine. Not sometimes it's always totally fine. If you just want to have the stream open and you don't want to say hi, you just want to like vibe in the background while doing other things. You know, that's 100% completely totally fine. Um, but if you use a lurk command, you know, at least you are, you know, acknowledging to me like, hey, I'm here and I'm like in your chat, but I'm not saying anything. But you can also use it like if you have been in, you know, if you have been active in chat, but you have to step away for a second because you need to do like other things, you know, you can also use the lurk command to let me know that, you know, I'm not going to be like, hey, Libus, uh, I'm just wondering, did you do this and this the other day? Or how was your day? Or, you know, I I'm not going to like ask you any questions because I know that you are not here anymore. Or you are not actively participating anymore, at least. I hope that that all kind of makes sense. I just leave the tab open and mute tab to give a view account. I do that often when I'm working, then I pop in from time to time. Yeah, exactly as well. I do the same thing sometimes. About 50 people a month are requesting directions to my home according to Google. Oh, wow. Why is that, though? That's kind of scary. Like, are they requesting directions necessarily to your home or just to, like, they want to know where your office is located? That's kind of That's kind of creepy. I wouldn't want that. I mean, I always technically lurk because I don't pay attention to anything because my ADHD brain goes, oh, shiny, after a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, again, I'm not saying that, you know, using the lurk command is like a necessity because, it, you know, it totally is not. Um, but if you're not, use if you're not using it, then sometimes I might be like asking you a question. And usually if I do that, like if I haven't seen you in chat for a little bit, usually I might still go like, hey, Sally, are you still here? Because I wanted to ask you a question and then I wait for a response. If I don't get it, then I just assume that either you left or you are lurking. Um, but, you know, if you do use the lurk command, then at least I know that, you know, you are here, but you're not actively participating, which is, again, totally fine. Remember to call out your lurkers. Yeah, so according to Ninja, you know, famous streamer Ninja, you always need to call out your lurkers. According to like 99% of the other streamers that are not Ninja, uh, please don't call out your lurkers. <laughs> don't listen to Ninja. Never, ever, ever call out your lurkers. 
I've had a streamer say hi to me by looking who's in their chat without me saying hi, and that kind of threw me off. Yeah, I had the same thing happen to me once, and it's same thing. Like, I, that was, like, the worst thing. I hated that because it kind of, to me, it made me feel very obligated to actually speak up in chat as well, even though I was just... I just wanted to have his stream on in the background and I wasn't going to actively participate. But, you know, them calling my name, I was like, okay, well, now he knows I'm here. Now I need to say something as well. So that is very off-putting. So that's why I'm saying never call out your lurkers because nobody likes that. How to lose your audience. Yeah, exactly. Like, never go through your viewer list and then, you know, go like, Oh, Sally, I see you're here. Welcome on in. You know, even though Sally never said anything in chat. Like, never do that. <laughs> Important announcement, right? Yeah. And Ninja does not have experience with small viewer counts. Yeah, and honestly, I doubt that Ninja actually has his viewer list open to acknowledge new people coming in. So it's very interesting that he gives that as a tip. Ninja can get wrecked with calling out Lurkus. I'd bail and block if that happened. I think I did it once, but it was like a total accident. I think once I was in the viewer list and I said like, Oh, hi, username. And then I was like, Oh, wait, I'm looking in the viewer list. I shouldn't do that. So I, I, I you know, apologized and I never did that after that anymore. Like I was just like, I was just so happy to see. Wow. I was just so happy to see that particular user, so I was like, oh, hi, you know, username. And then I realized, like, oh, wait, they haven't said anything yet. I'm totally calling out a lurker. Good boy. Good boy. But that was a long time ago, like a long, long, long time ago. But I can still remember. Never have view count on either because it stresses me out. I mean, that's also totally fair. That's also like some streamers like to have it up. Some streamers don't like to have it up. I always have it open though. Uh, but only because I know that I don't get influenced by view account too much. So I don't feel that I act any different when I have like, you know, 20 viewers compared to when I have like five viewers. I feel that I still give the same amount of energy. Obviously, you know, like when there's more people in chat, you know, I can, I can respond to more messages. So, you know, that's a bit of a difference, of course, but... Other than that, you know, if nobody chats, I don't feel that I am any different when I see that I have 20 viewers compared to when I have 5 viewers. I feel that I still give off the same energy, even if, like, nobody is chatting in both of those scenarios. I have no issues with my besties saying hi to me if they notice me in the list, but, like, that's because they're besties, which is, like, three people. <laughs> I would still never do that, though. If I see you, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm considering you, you know, that I'm considering myself to be on your besties list. Um, but like, even if I would see you in my viewers list and you haven't said anything, I still wouldn't say hi. Because I just know how sort of off-putting that can be. Besties doesn't count like that, though. They have to, they have to love me even though I'm a pain in the ass. I exist to be a pain in the ass for my besties. <laughs> wow. All right, let's see. We only have three more locations that we haven't unlocked yet, so I'm guessing we're going to try this one. Uh, it wasn't here, so I'm guessing maybe all the way here at the edge might be the location. Let's try that. Oh, what's this? Oh, I can actually destroy individual monitors. That's kind of funny. You are definitely on my besties list, love. Yay! I'm so happy about that. I just didn't want to, like, you know, assume anything because I'm not necessarily one that wants to assume things for people. Joy, what's this? And after I broke everything. <laughs> what does this button do? I mean, one thing that I'm already thinking about and worrying about, when I do my wetsuited kinkmas stream, at the end of the month um when i do that and i might have to take it off like midstream because i'm getting i need to use the bathroom or something like that i already feel very bad in advance for having to take a longer break because obviously you know i mean i'm gonna have to take it off and i need to put something else on so i'm gonna obviously be on the break screen for slightly longer i already feel bad about that even though i know i totally shouldn't be 
take it off midstream. Yeah, I'm not going to show that, though. So don't worry about it. I'm not going to show it off. <laughs> I don't want to lose my Twitch account, okay, for stripping on stream. <laughs> Someday I explode the hydraulics by just checking what a button does. Don't feel, don't be feeling bad about something that hasn't happened yet. Yeah, no, I know, I know, that, but that's that's just my weird brain. That's just weird brain goes boom, I guess. Do you even put a wetsuit on? Is it like latex or more wet bikini? I've never put on a wet bikini. Uh, but it's neoprene, uh, but very tight neoprene. So you just basically step in. Uh, the, the way that I use is by using little plastic bags on my hands and feet. And then I stick my feet in through the legs and then you slowly sort of like inch, it, inch your way up, basically. Hi, my name is Jordi Disclaimer Delicious. If that makes sense. My name is Jordi Disclaimer Delicious. It kind of, I guess it totally is. What was I disclaiming though? What, what was my disclaimer? What was I saying? Did I say something again and forgot that I said it? You're wonderfully considerate and an amazingly good puppy. Aw, heck. Heckies. Taking it off the wetsuit part. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess that was a disclaimer. I mean, in general, I always feel very bad when I take longer breaks. Like, sometimes, you know, I, I want to talk to Peter for a little bit or I need to stretch my legs or... You know, I, I need to do like a number two or something and it takes a little bit longer and I always feel very bad in like all of those cases when my break lasts longer than like, you know, two minutes. I know some streamers have like a, um, they have like a, and like an actual break timer. So like, they're like, I'm going to take a break and then they have a timer of like two and a half minutes. I couldn't do that because I like to just be able to take a break and we'll see how long it lasts. You know, sometimes it lasts longer, sometimes it lasts shorter. Never put on a wet bikini. No, I've never put on a wet bikini. Or a bikini in general, to be honest. I never put that on either. I wouldn't know what that's like. You gotta do what you need to do, Lovey. Uh, don't even think twice about it. Yeah, I know, I know. And I mean, that's also why we have the Plinko game, you know? So people actually have something to do while I'm on my break. You know, people can play the Plinko game and enjoy themselves regardless if I'm not here. I'm the same. I'm not a time person when it comes to taking rest or working. I used to have a break timer, but I decided it wasn't feasible because sometimes breaks run a little bit longer due to various reasons. Yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. Like, you know, most of the times I just, you know, grab a new drink, use the bathroom and that's it. But sometimes, you know, I just like either something is going on in terms of like mental health and I want to quickly talk to Peter about that or um, something else is going on and I want to talk to Peter about that or like I said, I need to do like a number two and that takes longer. So, like, there's various reasons why sometimes the break lasts longer than other times. So, I wouldn't be able to do, like, a, you know, two and a half minute break by default. I'm so impressed that you are so quick with your breaks. I set a time for myself on five minutes, but I'm always laid back. <laughs> I mean, sometimes mine lasts longer than that as well, but thank you, I guess. Just take the time you need. We'll be waiting here for you when you come back. I know, I know. And like I said, I know how much you guys love to play Plinko as well. So that actually does really help. Understand the reasoning behind break timers. It allows viewers to get an idea of when you're coming back if they hop in while you're on break. But at the same time, it puts a time crunch on the streamer. Yeah, exactly that. Like, I, I get the idea. I just don't like the idea. Myself. Which is not to say that I think they're bad. Like, if it works for you as a streamer, then good for you, right? Like, all the more power to you. But it wouldn't work for me. Like, I know myself, if I would have a break timer, I would start it. And I would be like... I would slowly increase it. I would be like, okay, it's not going to be two minutes. It's going to be three minutes. Okay, it's going to be five minutes. Okay, you know what? It's going to be ten minutes. I'm going to keep making it bigger. Until I found, like, a timer that I... Like, a time that I think works for me. That's why I'm not a big fan of them. Maybe I should get rid of it then because I'm always late. 
I mean, if, if, you're, if you always fail your break timer, then I guess you might as well get rid of it. But that's my opinion. I'm not saying that you should, but yeah. Because then I feel it kind of negates the point of having one. Uh, receive a chuck cannon. I don't necessarily want that. Wait, there's another... I was like, I hear another chest. I couldn't find out where it was, though. I would say that any stream with a higher number of viewers usually doesn't have a break timer either. I think that also might be kind of like streamer sort of mentality. Um, and maybe I'm giving like a hot take here, but I, thi I think, and but maybe I'm speaking completely for myself. I think that if you have a lower viewer count, like, you know, below the 50s, Let's, let's just call that a lower viewer count below the 50s. Um, I think if you have a lower viewer count, I think you always worry when pe that people are leaving because, you know, you don't have that many viewers to begin with. So you might always worry that people are leaving. So therefore, any quote-unquote dead air, you know, you see as potentially, you know, scaring off people. Uh, whereas if you have a higher viewer count, you don't necessarily, you know, might not be as afraid of people leaving because, you know, you already have that many people watching and in chat anyway. So, like, one one people more or less is not really gonna... You're not really gonna notice that, if that makes sense. So that's why maybe you don't necessarily worry too much about, like, break timers and stuff like that because, you know, if one or two people leave, you still have, like, 80 more watching. Which is not, you know, is, is in no way me trying to sort of call out, like, you know, people with higher view accounts or, like, me being jealous or something, but I think that's just how it sort of works. Ty Tiger, hello, how are you? Stream will be back in maximum 60 minutes. Stop killing me, heck. Why does everyone shoot better than I do? I hate it. Oh, wait, it was a legendary DMR. Okay, maybe that makes sense then. All right, speaking of breaks, let's do one more game before we take uh, another break. Or our first break, actually. Unless you feel obligated to wait until the timer runs out if you set it too long. Well, yeah, that too, yeah. Like, knowing myself, if I set, like, a, I don't know, like a 10-minute timer and I'm already done in five minutes, I'm going to wait five more minutes to go back because, you know, the timer hasn't run out yet. So that is also a thing that, you know, for me also wouldn't work. You know what, you're 100% correct. Wait, in like the viewer thing and the break stuff and stuff? Yeah. Again, it's in no way me trying to call out anyone. But I think that's just kind of how it works. You know, you when you have less viewers, you're always worried about like losing one or two. And, have you, and if you have more viewers, then, you know, losing one or two might not have such a big impact. So it's kind of like a little bit that sort of grinds mentality, I guess. Uh, okay, I still want to try and unlock this area. So let's go here, see if that unlocks it. To be fair, I only started with the timer because I got work damage from having a timer or my lectures. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a sweaty soccer skin. One of the uh, one of the two, I think I have. It's not really a sweaty skin, this one, but yeah. Habits from work is so hard to get rid of. Yeah, I think I I, I think I yeah. I mean, some habits in general. The movement for the trombone was right. Oh, really? That's kind of funny. I love it when stuff like that is accurate. I go into teaching mode so often, I haven't done any teaching work for a year. Yeah, I can totally understand how habits like that are kind of hard to shake. 
Like I said, I think habits in general are, might be hard to shake. I mean, if they're good habits, then it's fine. But if they're bad habits, you know, it's still hard to shake them. I guess that's why they are habits. Right, let's see if this unlocks the area. It does. It does. Okay, perfect. I think that is all the entire map opened now or not yet. I'm not entirely sure. Talking about good habits, where's my water? I don't know where you last left it, Midai, I guess. Use your nose, you know, your puppy nose to find it. Okay, I, I feel that I'm gonna lose this fight. I don't know why. Okay, maybe not. Never mind. A computer science teacher at uni. Nice. Okay, wait, I can show you. Minty, are you still here? I can show you the new fire. Oh crap, there's a lot. Oh crap, there's a lot of those there. I didn't realize. But look at the new fire. It's way more realistic. Like, it actually looks like fire now. <laughs> I always love blowing stuff up. But now it actually looks like fire. I think it looks way better. Hey, maybe I can use it to make you a puppuccino that won't set us both on fire. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. I love that. That was so funny. Yes, yeah, so I played uh, I played Fortnite with Minty once. Uh, and they were, they were like making a joke when there was like, you know, a like a sort of like a lemonade stand. So he was like joking that he was going to make me a puppuccino and then he set me on fire. Which was pretty funny. One of my absolutely treasured moments of that stream. <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. Here, have a puppuccino. Boom! All right, let's see where we're going to go, where we're going to go. Funniest part was that I almost killed myself by the fire. Speaking of streams, we definitely need to go ahead and continue with um, uh, Raft one day, Minty. Not sure if we can do it like this year anymore because of like, you know, the holidays and some streaming plans that I have coming up as well. But next year, we definitely need to continue with uh, with Raft. And or other games as well, but, you know, definitely also Raft. Look, I think I think this new fire looks way better. I can actually spread so much more realistic. I think like, you know, things get like, you know, we can see already like a little bit of fire damage down here, which I think is kind of more realistic as well. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Just tug my leash. Yeah, I'll definitely, like I said, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it this year because of, you know, I want to do that, that, that special Kinkmas stream on, on Friday the 23rd. And then we have like an end of year stream that I want to do something with. Um... And then, you know, like, I think the only time would be potentially next week, but I might want to do something then as well. So, but I'll like next year when, when, you know, the holidays are over and stuff, I'll definitely, I'll definitely, uh, pull your leash. Maybe we can set up again, like some sort of, uh, duo streaming, uh, thing. I'll say hello, hello.
How are you? Had somebody already claimed uh, this area here? Someone is also still here. But where are they? That's the question. Good, good. How about you? How are the games going? Uh, I'm doing okay. A little bit tired. Uh, other than that, I'm doing okay. And the games are going... Um, yeah, kind of meh. Not great, not terrible either. Sometimes I'm not necessarily super focused on the games and more focused on chat, I guess. But that's okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll take that. I'd be coming in, placing 100 out of 60 people. I think you're doing really well. <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, a flame bow. I'll take that. I love it that the bows are back. I really love the bows. I'm very happy that they're back. What is asking is hard. I'm still learning to split my attention between chat and game. Yeah, sometimes I'm like very impressed that I'm able to do it with my like, you know, my ADHD brain the way it is. I'm like, how can I focus my attention between chat and like the game as well? Especially since I always try to, you know, give all the messages some attention. Even though I know that, you know, as a streamer, that's completely not required to literally, you know, read out loud every single message that people type. So I'm trying to realize that as well, that, you know, you can't always um, say, you know, some something to every single message. But yeah. All depends on the game. That is also very true. Some games, it's, it's way easier to uh, do the most. Like games like this, I find it way easier to multitask in than like a story driven game where you have like cutscenes and people talking and like things that you want to pay attention to. So yeah, it really depends on the game as well. I always feel the need to answer immediately, etc. Yeah, kind of same, kind of same. But I also realize that, you know, that's just not feasible. You know, sometimes you miss messages or you know, messages just get blocked off or, you know, get, get pushed off the screen before you are able to read them. You know, and it just happens. It's just part of, like, the streaming life. As the stream grows bigger and more people are in chat, you know, that's just something that inevitably happens. They can't respond to everyone anymore. But that's okay as well, as well I guess. I think. I think, you know, that's just part of, of streaming. Hello? Wait, why can't I open this one? Okay, I couldn't open it. The chat turns into an IT place when I'm here. Yeah, I, I'm kind of noticing it. I'm, uh, I'm like trying to be like, okay, which messages are directed at me? Which messages are directed at like, you know, each other? <laughs> and I don't have to respond to those. But I see all, when I see like all kinds of techie messages in there, I'm like, okay, that's not necessarily directed at me, I guess. As long as you wanted to pass about the experience, sometimes you just can't respond to everything. Yeah, but that also kind of makes me feel very bad, I guess, because I, I don't want people to feel like I'm, you know, sort of ignoring them on purpose. That I'm like, oh, it's that person. I don't want to talk to them. So I'm just going to ignore their messages because I rarely, I mean, you know, maybe with some people that are very obnoxious, I might do that. But most people, like 99% of those people, I don't do that with. So, you know, I might do that with like trolls or... You know, people that are like, you know, obviously trolling. I might do it with them, but not with like, you know, my regulars or people that are just cool in chat. But yeah, you know, sometimes you just can't respond to everything. And I still need to learn that myself, that that is also okay. Why are you such a sweetie cutie puppy man? I don't, I'm, I don't know. Am I though? Oh crap, I didn't, ah oh crap, I wanted to open that. I didn't want to wreck that. Mr. Delicious needs to install Ubuntu. Why, though? 
I would I would install it and I would have no idea what the hell I'm doing. And I would give you like all the questions. Is that something that you want? <laughs> I would be like, okay, what do I do next? Do this. Okay, what do I do now? Do this. Okay, and now what? I just had a flashback. Didn't you once upon a time ask me about the good boy audio? Or was that another puppy? I know I made this good but that's actually my voice. That good boy uh, clip, that is actually me. So I don't know if I asked you about it because I made it myself, so I wouldn't know what I would ask, I guess. So it might be someone else. Okay, I'm not sure why you're standing still and doing that, but you know. Thank you for your crown, which I'm not going to be able to use anyway, but still, it's nice to have one. <laughs> Maybe it was a dream. Maybe it was. I don't know. Jody is heckin' dreamy, ooh. <laughs> Got him. Oh, my water is was downstairs. My pup nose needs some working. Maybe your pup nose just needs some booping. Boop. All right, it's not a big storm anymore, so let's uh, pay a little bit more close attention. We did get five kills this match, though, so far, so that's good, I think. As much as I kind of like that new hammer, I also kind of hate it. <laughs> Oop. I don't know why, I still feel that the game is sort of lagging on stream and I don't understand why. Because, I mean, you know, even though they have, like, new, you know, visibility modes and stuff like that, I still don't feel that this is a very demanding game. But, I don't know, maybe it is. Oh, gee, oh, geez, what the hell was that? Okay, I don't know if that streamer or that that streamer, that guy is still here. Ooh, auto shotgun, I'll take that. I'll find my way in Vim. Okay, you guys are still chatting about like nerdy stuff. Okay. That means I don't have to comment on that because I don't know anything to say about that anyway. Ooh, a fancy chest. Oh, I got him. Nice. That was surprising, but I did get him. Also, level up. I'm having a long moan of being like, I just want to snuggle with Judy instead of streaming today because I'm in a really cuddly mood and I don't want to be responsible. 
Or they need to come over, but I'm not sure if you can make it in terms of like, you know, time and stuff. I would give you all the peppy snuggles. I actually had the same thing. I was not sure if I was going to stream today either, but I'm kind of glad that I did so anyway. But I was very much debating if I wanted to maybe cancel stream today, but if I wasn't canceling also on Friday, I totally would have canceled today, I guess. But seeing as I also am not going to stream on Friday, I was like, yeah, I don't want to cancel two days in a week. So, yeah. Oh crap, there's only two more players left, chat. And right, I'm gonna focus a little bit because there's only two more players left. I don't know where they are, but they are healing somewhere, I think. I don't know where they are. Let's just leave. I'm way too... I'm way too out in the open, I don't like that. <clears throat> oh, only one more player left. I don't know where he is, though. I don't know where he is. If you win, I donate a bit. Let's make sure that everything is reloaded. <clears throat> Oh, jeez. Don't scare me. Oh, he's behind me. He's behind me, behind me, behind me, behind me. No! Oh, I did it. I did it. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I was I thought they were gonna get me. I didn't think that was gonna be a win. One PET pets for winning. Oh look at that. <laughs> oh man. Okay, that's my first victory royale with a crown though, so that's good. Oh wow. <laughs> Here is your bit. Oh thank you. Thank you for that bit. Also me die, thank you for the hundred bitties. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Good job. Thank you. That's my first solo win of this season. My first and maybe only one, I don't know, but, but definitely my first solo win of the season. Ah, that was a good one. I, I didn't think I was going to get it. I honestly didn't think I was going to get it. Heck. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Minty. You're so sweet. GG, thank you for the achievement. Ah, that was good. That was, that was good. I'm glad that I got it. For a second, I thought maybe my my uh, my shotgun had to reload like in the middle of that fight, but then it didn't. Um. So yeah. Ah oh, man, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay. Super good puppy pew pews. Yeah. Okay. Well, and that that's a good time, I guess. And that's as good a time as ever to uh, take a quick break because it's uh, I I need to use the bathroom and uh, I want to get something new to drink after my Rockstar refresh. So I'm gonna do that, and then after that, we're gonna continue playing some more Fortnite, I think. I think we're going to keep on playing it for a little bit longer. Um, so, um, yeah. Oh, we're going to clutch. Okay, wait. I want to see that clip, though. Wait, hang on. Let's mute the game for a second. Let's check out that clip. I'm curious. I want to I wanna see how that went. Um, let's see. Look at how look at how little health I had left. Oh, I did it! I did it! I did it! <laughs> oh, nice! I 
had so little health left. So like, I think they only had to shoot me like maybe once or twice. And then they also had me. So that was very lucky. Uh, thanks for the lovely conversation, Jordy. No worries. Oh, you're going to take, uh, going to head some, take some break. No worries, Libus. Take your break. Do your thing. Um, and thank you for being here. Wait, literally six health? Only six health? Oh yeah, I only had six health. I see that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. I uh, Karsik, do you want to maybe post that in the, um, in the Clips channel in the Discord? So I see that and I might make like, you know, a little YouTube short or something, uh, or something like that about it so I can share that later. I think that could be like, maybe this could be like a cool YouTube short to share later. Uh, if you don't mind, of course. Um... All right. Anyway, though, chat, I'm going to take a uh, I'm going to take a quick break um, so I can get something new to drink and I can use the bathroom and all those kind of things. So I'm going to do that. Um, and then after that, we're going to continue for a little bit longer with, I guess, some more Fortnite. I think we're going to keep on playing this for for somewhat longer. I'm literally sitting here giggling and smiling because I'm so happy about you doing so good. Ah, Minty, why are you such a sweetie? You're such a sweet puppy. You're such a sweetie. Post it. Thank you so much. I always feel so bad asking you guys like, oh, can you please post that on the Discord? I always feel like terrible, even though it literally takes like five seconds. Um, but yeah. Oh, wait, there's also a hype train close. Heck, because of you guys sharing all the biddies. Um, anyway, though, chat, I'm going to take a quick break. You guys do the same thing. Stretch your legs, get something to drink, maybe get a snack. Uh, and then after that, I'll, I'll come back and we'll return with some more um, Fortnite gameplay, I guess. All right, is that a good idea? I think that's a good idea. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Be right back.
<laughs> you, what you say? Yeah, uh, uh, I can hear you thinking, man.
It's me. It's a, it's a me, Mr. Joy Delicious. Um, all right. Even though I know I don't have to, even though I know I don't have to, um, I will still say sorry that it took me this long. <laughs> even though I know I know that I don't have to say that. Um, but we're back. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the item shop. I haven't done that yet to see if there's anything super cool. I always check out the item shop, even though I rarely ever buy anything. Um, but I always just want to... Ooh, Victory Royale emote. Wait, what is a Victory Royale emote, though? That is pretty cool. You can only use that earn a Victory Royale and raise your banner high with the stake your claim emote. Wait, you can only use that when you win, though? Is that how that works? Interesting. Is that something new? I haven't seen, I have never seen a Victory Royale emote specifically. I kind of think this one is pretty cool. This uh, sort of butch gnome. I think that's a uh, kind of a cool skin. I don't, I'm not sure if I really like the puffy cheeks though. Welcome back. Thank you guys. Thank you. Also, this one is kind of cool. But, you know, seeing as they are like, you know, very specifically holiday themed, Christmas themed skins, I'm not really going to get any of them. All right. Um, let's keep on playing for a little bit. Ooh, someone is using the llama bell. I love that emote. I had a random thought that I sent you in a DM on Discord. You already check it out later. It's on a point. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll check it out later then. Also, I need to remember that I need to charge my mouse. I need to charge my mouse. I, I I shouldn't forget that because I think I had to charge it already like yesterday or two days ago and then I didn't because I hate playing with my mouse. I think I had to charge it on Monday. But then I was streaming on Monday and I hate playing games with my mouse with the cable attached. Then I forgot about it on Tuesday and now I still haven't done it. So I need to do it tomorrow, I guess. 
That's why I have the uh, I have the uh, the power play mouse pad uh, on my throne, specifically for that reason. I was like, I was thinking like, what can I put on my throne that is like good? Excuse me, there would be like good things to put on there. And I think that was definitely one of the good things that I put on there. I just want to give a big cuddly hug to everyone. Oh, thanks, Sally. One back to you as well. A big cuddly hug to everyone in chat. All of you sweeties in chat. So we're gonna land here because I think this is the um, sleep tight. Are oh, you gonna you gonna go to the bed, uh, me die, or is that in reference to someone else? But I think this is the last part of the map that I haven't unlocked yet. Good luck with your match. Are oh, you gonna get some sleep? Okay, cool. Well, thank you so much for stopping by, me die. It was good having you. Thank you for being here and sleep well. Sleep well and 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 give your your boyfriend a big hug for me if you want to. Give them a big hug. Oh, there's someone else here. Okay, wait, let's take him out. Oh, it's Ninja. Bye, Ninja. <laughs> he wasn't actually Ninja, though, but he was using the Ninja skin. So I thought that was funny. Oh, and I did actually unlock this part of the map. Perfect. More hugs for all. Exactly. Let's get some shields up. Hug overload detected. How though? Because there, there can't, there can never be too much hugs. You can never have too much hugs. So I don't think a hug overload would be a thing. <laughs> so Chad, did I mention that I had some puppy time yesterday again and it was really nice? Like it was just me wearing my hood while I was wearing my, um, uh, my new gear on the couch. I was just chilling on the couch watching some TV and I wore my hood as well and it was really nice. It's been a while since I've done that. It's 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 been way too long since I've done that. So it was I was very happy that I was uh, that I did that. Oh there's someone here, heck. Bye! I don't know where he came from, but he was all of a sudden like over there. Out of the blue. I'm so happy to hear. Yeah. Like Peter has also said to me that I should wear my hood way more often than I currently do. And I know that I should. There we go. More puppy time. Yeah. Like it was just nice to just, you know, have it on while chilling on the couch watching some TV. Too much hugs will kill you if you can't make up your mind. Too much hugs will kill you if you can't make up your mind. How though? Thanks for the bits though, I appreciate it. Are we are already in the storm or in the circle, so that's good. I have something ready. Let's see. Um, let's go with that. Oh, we have another one. Let's re-roll. I don't like either of these two. So normally I would have my uh, theater rehearsal tomorrow, but... 
Um, because there's a couple of people that are ill and that can't make it, and then someone else, uh, some other people are on holidays that can't make it. We are... We wouldn't have anyone, like, you know, a, a full, um, full set of people for, like, certain scenes, so... I think we're gonna decide to cancel it, because I, I personally don't think it would be, like, very useful to rehearse if, like, you know, so many people can't make it. Which would be kind of okay-ish, because that means that I have a night off tomorrow, so that would be kind of nice. Um, so yeah. I figured out what I'm playing tonight. It's part of what games week that Twitch is doing. Wait, what games week? I I haven't heard Twitch doing anything like that. What is that? Is that like a regional thing, maybe? Because I, I have never heard of that before. It's not part of, but yeah. A night of sometimes are really healthy. Yeah, right, like, normally Tuesdays are my only nights off during, like, the week. You know, like, not counting the weekend. Uh, I only have nights off on, on, like, Tuesdays because, well, on Mondays I stream, then Tuesdays I have a night off. Wednesdays I stream, Thursdays are my theater rehearsals, and then Friday I stream. So, like, I don't have any other nights off on, uh, like, during the week. And as much as I love, like, you know, I love streaming and I love doing all those things, right? But it's also really nice to just have, like, you know, a night where you don't necessarily have to do anything. Because that's also what I do. Like, when I, usually on Tuesdays, I just go ahead and, and sit on the couch, watch some TV. Um, maybe play some games later as well. But, you know, I, I don't necessarily spend time behind my PC too much on those days. Because I just want to chill a little bit. And I rarely ever get to watch TV as it is. Um... So it's nice having like another night off uh, this week. Uh, what games week is a thing they're doing from the 5th to the 7th? Ask, asking streamers to play their favorite weird or obscure games. Oh, okay. I haven't heard about that, but that sounds kind of funny. So what game have you decided to play then? What is your favorite weird or obscure game? Um, all right. I do feel, I do hear, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't expect anyone to be there. <laughs> oh, heck, I didn't, ex I knew there was someone close by. I just didn't expect them to be that close by. <laughs> oh, heck. Okay. Well, that was a thing. I'm playing a game that I only found uh, accidentally recently. Pla Placid Plastic Duck Simulator. Placid Plastic Duck Simulator. Okay, interesting. Interesting. But I'm not sure what time I'm going to get some sleep tonight, but I might end the stream slightly sooner than I normally do. So if I do, I might come and check it out if you play that, because I'm kind of curious now. I don't want to go to sleep too late, though, but well, I, I'm, I'm, I think I might have some time to just chill and vibe in your stream for a little bit before bed. So that could be fun. I want to go to sleep, but also no. Yeah, I mean, I'm not necessarily tired yet, but it's just like what I said before, that I'm just feeling a little bit like... um, Yeah, again, not necessarily tired, but just... Well, it's just like I wanna, I wanna just sort of turn myself off, if that makes sense. Then again, I am having a great time on stream, so that's also that's also good. I'm glad that, like I said before, I'm glad that I actually did move the stream, uh, let the stream happen. Like I'm tired, but I know I'm not gonna fall asleep. Oh yeah, I know that feeling, which is super annoying if that happens. I definitely know that. I sometimes have the same thing. Like, if I would go to bed now, I know that I wouldn't fall asleep. For, like, you know, a couple of hours, I guess. Oh, crap. Oh, 
for sure. You're always more than welcome to come and hang out. Yeah, I always feel very bad, though, like when I come and hang out and I can't make it to, like, you know, the entirety of your stream. But yeah, with time zones and stuff, it's just sometimes. Uh... Yeah. Ever feel bad? I know how it is. Yeah, I know, I know. I just, well, that's just also me, I guess. Feeling bad for things that I shouldn't feel bad about. All right. Claim majority is amazing, considerate, and sweetie, and worries a little bit too much. Listen, I think we've uh, we've all established already once before that overthinking is my middle name. So I guess this falls within that overthinking thing. I also always feel very bad if I raid and dash, like if I raid out at the end of the stream and then I stay for like you know ten minutes and then I have to leave. I always feel kind of bad when I do that as well. <laughs> Then again, I also did something that I'm kind of... Hang on. Wait, oh, there they are. Oh, same though, right? Uh, I also did something that I'm kind of proud of. Well, maybe not proud, but like I'm happy with the other day. Um... I'm just glad that most folks are like, no, I know how it is post stream to go take care of yourself. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's how I always am as well. Like, I mean, I love it when people raid and then they hang out for a long time, but I totally get it when you, um, um, like if you can't or, you know, yeah, if you, yeah, well, if you can't, if you don't want to, I totally get that. Because, you know, you've been live for three hours, four hours, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you know, however long hours. I think it's good and important to also unwind and, and take some time for yourself. And, you know, grab a drink, stretch your legs, turn off your PC, maybe watch some TV, go to bed, you know, do all those things. I totally get that. I have the same thing. Um, but yeah, so yesterday I was uh, yesterday I was tweeting about, like, I was teasing people about my new wetsuit and that I got, like, you know, the box. I posted a box, a photo of me with the box on it on Twitter first. As like a teaser, and then after that I posted a, uh, a photo of me wearing it. Uh, and a lot of people were commenting on it, and like also uh, a pep friend of mine was commenting on it, saying that they actually got their suits in that day as well, coincidentally. Um, so, you know, we, we sort of went back and forth with each other on, on Twitter. Oh, nice! I didn't think I was going to have him. There we go. Uh, but we were going back and forth with each other on Twitter about that as well. Um, and then I was like, you know what, I, I, I don't really talk to this person that much, but I would love to do that. So I was like, hey, listen, if you want to, I sent them like a DM saying like, hey, if you want to talk to me, you know, a little bit more after this as well, this is my Telegram handle. So we can, you know, like chat if you want to. Um, and, you know, like normally I wouldn't necessarily do that very quickly because I would be like, yeah, they probably don't want to talk to me or nobody wants to talk to me or like, you know, let's let's not do that. But I'm glad that I did because they also like instantly messaged back like, oh, yeah, I was already looking for you on Telegram, but I couldn't find you because my, you know, Twitter username is different from my Telegram one, which might be a bad thing because I've heard more people say that they can't find me. But in any event, I'm glad that I actually, you know, took sort of the liberty to send them a message because clearly, you know, we actually were talking a little bit after that. So I was happy about that. Like a small thing, but I'm, I'm happy that I did the same thing like last week or like a couple of weeks ago. I kind of did the same thing and I was very happy with myself when I did that as well. Everything that crosses my path needs at least three days to be calmed out in every which way, so I feel you. <laughs> About the overthinking thing, yeah. Yeah. 
Like when it was um, Black Friday and the you know the uh, the wetsuit brand had like you know sales going on, I couldn't just decide like hey I'm gonna get one for myself I'm gonna go with the sale and I'm gonna treat myself to that no 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 I couldn't just decide that it took me like three four five days even, and a lot of like you know coercing from Peter to be like you know treat yourself to that before I actually you know bit the bullet. Cause that's usually how it goes with me. I'm terrible with spending money for myself. Like spending money on things that I like. I'm terrible with that. So whenever like an opportunity that like that comes around, I always... I always spend like, you know, way too long thinking about that before I actually... Like I said, bite the bullet. Alright, I'm gonna switch this one out, I think. I'm gonna change it to a DMR. And actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take it with me as well. Alright, I do have the high ground now, which I like. There's someone here. Okay, there we go. It's hard to get over that hurdle. Mood. <laughs> See, sometimes it's so sort of nice knowing that you're not the only one doing something weird. I only picked up some stuff from my wish list that I've had on there for over a month that Black Friday weekend because I got impatient. Yeah, like what happens to me most of the time in situations like that is that I wait way too long. I'm like debating with myself like, shall I get it? Shall I get it? Shall I get it? And then I wait way too long. And then once I decided to get it, it's like, you know, out of the sale or it's sold out or something like that. And then, you know, like, I'm always too late with, with it. So, like, I'm, like, waiting, 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 waiting. Then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get it. And then it's too late. It weren't even on sale. OMG, yeah, it happened so much. <laughs> Alright, two more players. One of them is probably, I guess, over there if they didn't leave yet. The other one is somewhere down there. I'm very happy that I got the high ground then again. I might have to... I, I do have to move soon-ish. Oh, they're gonna get me! They're gonna get me! They're gonna get me! Crap! Oh, they're totally gonna get me. Was there a... Uh... Was there a bandage? Uh... Let's quickly drink this. I'm not sure if they're still there. I think they might be. I do have to move now, though, which I don't like. If they are still there, they have to move as well. Or they're gonna die, which is also fine by me. Oh wait, I think that's where they are. I think they're down there. Oh, someone sniping, someone sniping. Ah, oh, dang it, third place. That's okay though, we got a win earlier, so I mean... Yeah, let's, let's see, let's wait this out, let's see who's gonna win this. I think it's Darth Vader might win this. Yeah, there we go. GG. Not me looking at my screen so that about two weeks after the sale ended. Ah, oh, that is that is so annoying when that happens. The phone that I wanted is to get to the phone that I wanted to get literally sold out in the hour I was considering it last year. Yeah, that's so annoying. It's so annoying when that happens. I mean, stuff like that happens, you know, like... It's just, it's just the way things go, but it's still annoying. Hello? Hello?
Welcome back. Okay, I think we I think we're back. Sort of. Um Hello. Okay, I think we're back. Um I don't know what happened there. I got an error in OBS saying that there was an encoding error. Um but then everything like my entire mouse, I couldn't really click anything because everything was like so slow. So I couldn't really click on anything that like, you know, I couldn't click out of OBS or I couldn't click out of the game or anything like that. So I had to use like control or delete to actually end OBS. Uh, I don't know if there was a disconnection protection or not. I hope there was. Otherwise, I'm going to have to uh, merge my streams together. And I always hate doing that and upload it manually to uh, to to YouTube. Um, but looking at the chat, I don't think there was a, um, a disconnection protection. So a new stream. OK, it's not the worst thing. It's not the worst thing, but. I'll just I'll just download them and then merge them together and then it's gonna be fine as well. Um, it's just a little bit more work, but that's okay. Also, I'm heading to bed. No worries, Miles. No worries. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you had a good time. Lovely to see you as always, my friend. Sleep well. Have a good one, and I guess I'll see you uh, next week. <laughs> I'll see you sometime next week, I guess. I wanted to say have a good weekend, but that's a little bit early, maybe. So, you know, yeah, not me saying have a good weekend already. <laughs> but have a good one. And I can redeem a hello again. Yeah, you can do. Yeah, that, that's something you can do now again. Um, all right. Well, now that everything is running again, uh, let me go and. I mean, I was already sort of feeling that the game was kind of lagging as it is anyway, kind of weirdly enough. I don't know why that was the case, but I felt the game was sort of lagging a little bit. Um, so. Um, all right, let me boot everything up again, though. I did see some lagging on stream, too. Yeah, yeah. So I feel it's not just the game. Maybe it was like, you know, a stream thing as well. So, but it's okay. You know, these things happen. Nothing to worry about. It's a bit unfortunate. There was no disconnection protection, but, um, you know, here we are. Oh, Doom 3 is on sale. Oh, wait, is that also on sale on Steam? Let's see. Doom 3. Oh, it's not on sale on Steam. It's only on sale on Epic. I don't think I ever finished Doom 3. I wonder if I could play it now, though. I wonder if I could play Doom 3 these days or if I would still find it too scary because I, I know that I found it too scary back in the day. I still might find that. Then again, I think Doom 3 was definitely one of those games that while it was scary, it was sort of like very predictable scary, if that makes sense. Um. So, yeah, I have a physical copy of Doom 3. I actually have a physical copy of it as well. But, you know, I mean, seeing as I don't have a CD drive anymore, I can't really jam that in somewhere and install it. <laughs> so that's not going to work. <laughs> um. So, yeah. Um, also, wait, what is this? Wait, I got a new gift. Wait, I got a new gift. Someone gifted me something and I didn't even see that because I don't have Steam open. Wait, what is this? Camera's also lacking out a bit. Sometimes. Yeah, it might have been the game. I don't know. I like, I, I, maybe these new settings that the game has, maybe they are a little bit too much for like streaming it. I don't know. I put it in toaster. Now let me play. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wait, let, let me check out what this gift is. Um. Oh, Minty, what the hell is this? This game is silly, but I love you and I hope you might enjoy it. XOXO. Minty coming in with the super sweet. A uh, gift that is so sweet. That is so sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, that's the crazy game that you were talking about. It's the Pla Placid Plastic Duck Simulator. Okay, I'll definitely have to check that out. I'll definitely have to check that out sometime because, well, we do love plastic duckies. So we'll definitely have to check out the weird plastic duck simulator. <laughs> That's so sweet, Minty. Thank you so much. I'm not sure if you're still here, but thank you. Um, 
All right. Let's see if this is going to work again. Have you tried the Nanai setting on Fortnite? That stuff dropped my FPS down to 27. I'm not sure if I have tried that. Let's let me check. Did I did I do I have that enabled? Is that something here? I do have it set to auto set. Let's see. Yeah, everything is set to pretty much like, you know, super high. Oh, I do have this. High end geometry rendering through Nanite, which improves geometry detail, but it can lower frame rate. You know what? Let's turn that off for a second. Let's see if that actually. Uh, if that makes things better, if that makes things running smoother on um, on stream. Programs, hello, hello. Nice hair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. Luckily, there's no um, penalty uh, penalty involved when you uh, exit out of a Fortnite game. So that's good. Jordi always looks so lovely with his pink hair. So iconic. I died it again today. Well, Peter did, but you know, we, we had to do it again today. Because it's been a while. Alright, let's see if the game runs slightly smoother now as well. Maybe that was just a weird OBS thing that happened. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of love this uh, loading screen. It's kind of cool. I had blue hair for a time. It is back to brown. I actually had blue hair for a little bit as well. I, I, I kind of switched between pink and blue myself. I do feel that the game runs smoother now, though. Yeah, it feels way smoother. So maybe that nanite setting is very cool. And maybe I can definitely run that on my um, my GPU. But maybe it's just a little bit too much. I don't know what it is. I, don't, I have no idea what this nanite setting does. The game does feel smoother now and it still looks great though so like I, I don't necessarily feel that i'm missing out on like any graphical details so like it still looks pretty amazing but it feels smoother so i'm not sure if that's a nanite setting or if that's just me restarting the game Also, there was a there was a player that I've played against bef against before because I remember the username. So maybe it's a bot. They were called Pizza Ketchup An uh, Ananas. So basically, Pizza Ketchup Pineapple. And I know that I've seen them before because I thought it was such a weird username. Uh, I'm gonna be lurking for a time. Love you and good luck. No ways, Minty. No ways. Love you back or I, I less than three you back. Thanks so much for stopping by. And have a good one. Have a look, good look. I just successfully audio isolated every single uh, channel on a single song. Nice. So are you going to like, you know, edit it now? Or are you going to do something with that? Or is it just like, I wanted to see if that works. And that's it. Okay, I do feel that the game r looks slightly different though. Might just be me, but I feel that it looks a little bit different now with the nanite stuff turned off. I kind of feel there's less sort of, um, it feels like there is less, um, like, you know, lighting effects. Not sure if that's true though, but it kind of feels that way. But I might have to dive into that. Maybe there's some other, I saw that some other settings were also changed or disabled when I turned off the nanite stuff. So I might have to look into, um, that as well. Wait, I can see... Wait, I saw shadows through the... Through the ceiling. I don't think that's supposed to happen.
All right, two kills. Nice. Wanted to see if it works. Plus, I love the album so much that I want to study the isolated instruments as well. Nice. Yeah, and see, and in something like that, I, I definitely feel that, you know, AI is definitely um, very helpful. Like, something like that, you know, you can't really easily do that. I mean, you can definitely do it, but you can't easily do that, I think, with just regular software. So that's, again, what we were talking about before, how AI can be very useful, but at the same time can also be very, like, detrimental to stuff. chests let's open that what is that oh um, smg i'll take that i kind of like these drones that are flying in the sky now wait where is it though saw this shadow but i don't see it Heck, I did feel like I, I do feel like I lost some viewers from that uh, that OBS glitch thing, which is a bit of a bummer, but it happens. It happens. That's one sort of upside, quote unquote upside, you know, from uh, Twitch removing hosting, is that. Well, in the past, if someone was hosting you, um, you know, if you were stream disconnected, then, you, you know, the host would also be be gone. You know, they wouldn't be hosting you anymore. Now with hosts gone, you know, in general, well, that's clearly not an issue anymore. It's it, I mean, you know, it's a little bit of a uh, like a like a silver lining, I guess. But yeah. Um, let's reroll. Alright, uh, let's get the explosive bow. Daddy Wear Fox, how are you doing? We're coming in. Hello, hello. Yeah, I should be used as a tool, or at most a subgenre of art, and not a main form of creating things. We still want human expression and not everything in automation that doesn't need it. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Like I said, I think it can definitely be like useful in certain sort of situationario uh, situationarios. That is situations and scenarios, situationarios. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think it should be like a means to an end, if that makes sense. Or at least not all the time. It highly depends, I guess, on the use case. Ah, oh, crap, she set this building on fire. Good move, smart move. I don't know if she's still here, though. AI is cool, but I want to hire an actual artist and support them. Yeah, no, absolutely. Oh, there she is. Don't step into the bus. Ooh, barely got her. 
That was really close though. Let's first bandage myself up. I craft someone is coming. Level up. Nice. Level 19 currently. Level 19. Yeah, I do feel the game runs slightly smoother now, also on stream. Not sure if I'm not sure if anyone else notices that as well, that things run a little bit smoother now. Which again, I'm not gonna instantly attribute to um to the nanite thing, but it might have helped, maybe. Perhaps. I mean it could also very much be that, you know, just restarting the game did something. As I said earlier, luckily not everything can be animated, as you cannot teach a machine how to output emotional art pieces. Yeah. And I mean, while the technology is definitely very, like, impressive, you know, in what it can do and stuff, you know, seeing people use it, like, you know, on, like, you know, photos of themselves or things like that, you can definitely see the huge flaws in terms of I think hands are still like super difficult for AI to um, to make um, and, and you know like entire facial uh, features as well like things like ears don't always work out well um, so while things in general look pretty cool you can definitely see like massive flaws with the system still. Which I guess makes sense because it's all still relatively new, so. And like, you know, it's great for using it like, you know, on like, you know, profile pictures of yourselves or something like that. But I don't think it should be used on like, you know, actually making, you know, art. We are just at the beginning of AI, so be scared of what to come. Yeah, can't, yeah, well, that is kind of true. Yeah, like seeing what is already possible. It's kind of scary to think of what is possible in like. Well, I think even like a year from now, or even less than a year, like less than a year, I think it's definitely... We'll definitely see like incredible and crazy leaps in what is possible with it. Can the AI design a website? Let's try. <laughs> well, if it can like write out legible and, and like, you know, grammatically correct... um pieces of text. I think making a website is not really uh, too far out there. Computer can't tell you an emotional story. It can give you the exact mathematical design, but what is missing is the eyebrows. Wait, is this a... Yeah, this is a... Uh, isn't it your lucky day? I don't know, is it? Ah, oh, because they oh yeah, it might be my lucky day. Yeah, there's lots of stuff here. Lots of gold that I'll gladly open up. Oh, this takes way too long though. I hate that. Alright, this is gonna give me a lot of gold, which is good. I like that. Thank you, um, what's your name? Crap, I didn't want to do that. Oh, she killed him for me. Okay, well, that also works. No, it might have been that person over there. Oh, 
Oh, it set this tree on fire. I wanted it to set the building behind it on fire. Heck. Okay, well. Who is doing that? Where are they shooting from? I don't see them. Oh, wait, over there. I see them. I see them. Oh, jeez. Okay, there's someone else here as well. Ooh! Ah, oh, they only had 12 health left. Okay, that was very close. That was super close. I hate that I can't see how long we've been live now. I was wondering why the sound stopped. Wait, the sound stopped? Do you guys still hear me? Did everything get muted or? Things is still okay? I mean, I, I feel that I should be. I can hear you. Okay, good. What he said? No, my chrome just died. Oh, okay. Well, that, that, yeah, that also, that is also an option. <laughs> okay, good. Well, yeah, not necessarily good, but like good that is not on me. Tiritz. <laughs> I've let AI generate four layouts for selling puppies. What, what's the correct location to put them in the Discord again? Um, I guess stuff like that. You can post it in general chat because we were having a chat about that on um, on stream. So I guess that works in general chat as well. It's not necessarily like a photo or something. So either that or showcase if you want to like showcase what you made. I guess both work, but general chat also kind of works, I guess. Alrighty then, let's see. Let's go Shattered Slabs. A lot of these locations I don't really know yet too much. Because, you know, obviously I haven't really been there too much yet. With the new season and stuff. City. Oh, this is... The, oh, yeah. Okay, I know this location. I dropped them in Discord. Okay, I'm going to check them out later. Because I'm kind of curious now. Four layouts for websites selling puppies. So how did you let that... How did you make that, though? Did you just go to an AI and make, and, and you, know, you told them, like, make a layout for a website selling puppies? You know, was it, like, just like that? I'm pretty sure... I got three blankets and I'm still a gold. I'm pretty sure I'm the problem at this point. But I mean, you do live in a cold country, so I kind of, I kind of feel that you know it might just be where you live as well, Sally. I'm not sure if I'm, if I want to say that you are the problem. <laughs> I entered a website for selling puppies. Landing on the bear flag. It's a black chicken. Oh wait, I'm almost... Oh crap, I don't have a lot of health anymore. Didn't realize that. 
I mean, it is minus, minus 13 degrees. Yeah, see? So... I don't know that I can say that you are the problem, Sally. I think it might just be the weather. Like, if it's that cold, what do you expect? <laughs> Can't let it understand human pups. Well, I don't think we want to sell human puppies, though. I mean, supplies for human puppies, sure. But not actual human pups. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, that's also like one of the uh, the limitations, I guess, of AI is that... Um, like stuff like that, you know, things that are not very like common and things that might be sort of complicated to understand. You know, those are things that it just doesn't understand because it's like, I have no idea what this is. I got this horrible image in my head. Of like selling puppies or... So yeah, this might be maybe one of my last games. Depends on how it goes. But I think I might want to wrap it up a little bit after this. Like I mentioned at the start of the stream, you know, tonight might have been a uh, slightly shorter stream. So I can just, you know, unwind a little bit and, uh, you know, do that before getting some sleep. Adopt the furry in the typical puppy adoption ad. <laughs> wow, that would be uh, that would be quite something, yeah. Hello. Oh, look at this. That's a lot of these uh, slurp barrels, and I like it. Wait, if I destroy all of them, oh, I still get XP. Okay, I'm gonna destroy all of them, even though I don't need that. I still want to get the XP. All right. Okay, I need to walk quite a little ways that way. Let's do that. A website for selling furries. Let's check. <laughs> I mean, I would see a website for selling fur suits or like furry supplies, I guess. I, I, although, you know, what are furry supplies? Primal Stink Bow. It's gold though, so I guess I'll take it. Like skin furries with puppy eyes and a cute bow tie. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Where does your brain go? <laughs> wow. Can adopt or exchange for a character, but I think buying a person is against the UN code. <laughs> yeah, let's not sell actual people. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I hate that these flags are... I mean, I kind of get it. Oh, yeah, because once it's all the way up, those flags actually get unfolded. 
I was like, I don't understand why they're still sort of like crumpled up, but now I do. Skin furries with puppy eyes and a cute bow tie. I just get puppies with bow ties. Which is also kind of cute. Puppies with bow ties. I mean, I'm not going to lie. That's also kind of cute. Oh crap, the storm is here. Crap, but I wanted to... At least I got a, I got some XP. I forgot about, I forgot about storm that would be closing in. There we go. You should get a bow tie with your puppyhood jewelry. I think it'll be cute. We actually were at a, uh, we were at a, uh, well, not necessarily a pet store, but uh, like at a garden center where they also had like pet supplies, I guess. Uh, and they had bow ties for puppies. Well, uh, well, not necessarily for puppies, but like for dogs. And it was like super cute. Well, I mean, we didn't see them in action, but like I, the idea of putting a bow tie on my dog sounds like super cute. I should have gotten one for myself, though. Indeed, like uh, one for me when I'm wearing like my pup hood. That would have been very cute as well. You know, if puppy would you know, like if puppy Brooke would have to go to like a like a um like a formal event, like a gala or something. Dropped all the puppies with bow ties also in Discord. Now I stop. <laughs> I'll check it all out later, I think, after the stream. Like I said, I think this might be my last match. Seventies album cover the other day that basically has simplified pup hoots. They even got featured in a video clip. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, I, I've seen Pup Hoots as well um, in other forms of media as well. I think they were once part of the TV show The Masked Singer in the US. I think they had like Pup, pup Hoots uh, in there as well. Now, unfortunately, you know, it's all basically like sensationalism, I guess. So that's a bit of a downside, but yeah. And Peter, is your last match? <laughs> When you're done, you get your babysitting duty for the rest of the evening. I want to sit at my craft desk. Video editing didn't really work out. Well, if he wants to be here, that is. Juro has a little uh, little wound on his paw. And he, he doesn't like it when he's got wounds. So he always starts to, like, uh, lick them. But obviously, you know, he can't lick them because then the wound only gets worse. So we have to sort of babysit him now to pay attention that he doesn't lick him because we don't want to give him the cone of shame the entire day because he also doesn't like that. And also even with the cone of shame he can still you know he can still lick it a little bit like you know it's harder but he can still do it. So that is also not like a completely good option. Oh crap, another st oh crap, I totally wasn't paying attention to the storm again. Okay, this one is quite far though, so I might not make this. Unless I find a vehicle here, which I don't think I will. On any vehicle nearby? No, obviously not. Just when I need it, there's no vehicles. Let me grab this though, so I can still get some. Ah, oh, we still might make it though. We still might make it. Not gonna be great, but we're not dead yet. At least from the storm, so that's good. 
There we go. Made it out alive. space in my bedroom for my soft friends aka your plushies or uh oh yeah some of these new guns they're pretty uh they're pretty powerful they're pretty powerful all right That was fun, chat. That was fun. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. We got 20 battle stars. Can we buy something with that? Can we buy an entire page with that? Is actually, I don't think so, right? 20? No, that's not going to be enough. 31 I need. Well, at least get the, um, the V-Bucks. Uh, how many more do I still have? 15. All right, let's leave the rest. Oh, this is a pretty cool... What is this? A pickaxe? Oh, that's a pretty cool pickaxe. Okay, let's get that one already as well then. Then we'll just leave the... Um, we'll just leave the rest. Um, Or should I? Can I get two things of four? No. All right, no, we're gonna we're gonna leave it at that. Um, all right. That was fun. Um, but like I said, I'm going to take it. I, I was going to make it slightly shorter tonight because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm still feeling a little bit tired. So we're going to make it. Uh, we're going to keep it slightly shorter. Um, but yeah, that was fun, though, chat. That was fun. Even though it was only like three, uh, three, three and a half hours. That's not too bad. I think that's not too bad. Um, let's see who we can raid out to tonight. Um, let's see, let's see. Right. Waiting on an ad. As always. All right, let's listen in on this streamer for a second. You know what? Let's, let's raid this streamer. I don't think we've raided them in like a very long time. If we ever raided them, I think we did though. Uh, but let's go ahead and show them some love. Uh, they literally just started their stream like a couple of minutes ago, so um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, so let's take it here and let's roll the credits. Well, they're not going to be the full credits, I guess, because of the stream. Uh, oh, wait, they are though. Okay, perfect. I was going to say because of the stream, uh, you know, balking out, but here we are. Well, thank you so much, chat, for stopping by tonight. Again, apologies for it being slightly shorter than usual. Um, you know, hopefully next week uh, I'll, I'll feel uh, less tired and, and we can just do the longer streams. But, I, you know, then again, three and a half hours is also, I think, a good amount for a stream. Um, so, you know, it doesn't always have to be five, six hours. Uh, I think three and a half hours is also totally, uh, totally acceptable. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I won't be here, like I said before, I won't be here on Friday. So keep note on that. I won't be live on Friday. Uh, so I will be back again next week. Um, unless something weird happens, but I don't think so. So, you know, normal, normally I, I should be back again next week. 
Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much. Have a great weekend. You guys as well. Have a great week. You guys uh, too. Have a good Thursday, Friday, and of course a good weekend. Uh, thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for listening to me jabbering on about, you know, my my weird brain sometimes and, and, and stuff like that as well. I can appreciate it. Uh, as always, I'm going to drop a couple of links in chat. If you don't follow me yet on my Twitter account, now is maybe the best time to do that because I share things about the stream, things that I get up to, uh, photos of my cute doggo now that he's got a haircut again. So if you want to see that, definitely go ahead and follow me on my Twitter account. Uh, and if you want to hang out with other members of the community outside of the stream, the best place to do that would be on our Discord uh, server. Link to that is also right there in chat. Lastly, here's our raid message. This is a delicious raid. Um... If you are a subscriber to the channel, you can use the one at the top with our emos. If you are not a subscriber, you can use the one below that. And then as always, feel free to substitute those emotes for your own or your favorite streamers emotes instead. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to be back again on Monday, most likely next week. Uh, so it's going to be a couple of days without me. But um, well, if you want to watch some other amazing streamers, there's a lot of them on Twitch. So just check out the, um, the self-promotion channel in the Discord if you want to see who is live. Um, or just go to some of the, uh, you know, the usual suspects, Pubrex, Monster Minty, uh, you know, some of the amazing streamers that we all love and like here as well. Um, but yeah, thanks again so much for hanging out, for stopping by. I love you. You're all amazing. Uh, the last thing I say is, as always, my name is Mr. Drillicious. You are all extremely delicious yourselves as well. Uh, take care, have an amazing rest of your week, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye. Bye.